Okay, that was still my baby. bitter. Still bitter. Still real fucked up over that. You gave us the weapons. I didn't think you'd use them. Are you kidding me? You put That's like the, the only thing we know how to do knife. is when you give us an actual weapon, you're like, hey, you have a weapon, and you even reminded us. When you remind us, we're gonna use it, Abria. And also, uh, you pulled a me. punch. Like you were like, I like, I could all hit you, but I guess you only take half of this. And I'm like, I could have taken the whole thing. Well, I didn't know. I admit, I wrote down your. I wrote down someone else's damage in your column, and I was like, I'm not gonna kill him because I don't want to pull focus from me actively trying to kill Addy. And I, I regret nothing. Hey, 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 hey. Let us begin. <laughs> also, it's not true that you guys remember because how many fucking coins have I sprinkled across this season? I know, but like, I, I didn't know that that pocket. was for a weapon. I, I just have, thought that was an evil I thing. I have gotten nothing. I've gotten nothing. I have two of them. Yeah. I don't remember any. I mean, I take so many notes and I don't remember. I feel <laughs> also, like Tristan got for one all the note talk drunk? this week about yeah. D&D. <laughs> That's one super fair. That's Wait, do bad. I have one? Am I a bad rememberer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I ever got one. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to light it and just say that everyone has at least one. Okay. okay. So you just have it. Coin. Cool. I, I got it out of uh, I got it out of a, a diapy. Ooh. Yep. That sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's do some did introductions. You, did you eat this? You swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> She's a grown woman now. It's oh, very wait. confusing. Did all the coins happen in adulthood? No. Oh no, I kept I kept that poopy coin as a memory, a cherished memory of my. That's dad. beautiful. <laughs> this never washed it. Oh, ooh, upsetting. Thank you. Well, Thank why you. don't we start with your introduction then? Because you've been nasty one. Uh, hi, my name's Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered registering to vote? Because it's not an option anymore. You have to, I'm making you. Uh, go check your voter registration right now, vote.org. Also, I play a character named Addie and I am the mommy of the babies and- There's and no more babies. They're still my babies, holy fuck, how dare you? <laughs> how fucking dare you? How okay. fucking dare you? I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'll just wait while y'all go to vote.org. Oh yeah, we'll just take like a hot 10 second break. Just open up a different tab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, open it up, good job. Okay. It's dot .org. No, org. V-O-T-E mm -hmm. period O-R-G. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, check voter registration. Yeah, just click we'll that. We'll wait. Yep, no, I know, it's Wi-Fi. It takes a second, you're good. And you're, you, yes, you are registered, good job. There you go, you did it, great Look work. at that. <laughs> now click back to the tab. And we're so proud of you. GG's, GG's. And you know what? Check it again in a week because what the fuck is going on in this country? <laughs> Fascism. Fascism, Yay! that's what it is. Oh, I always forget what it's called. Yeah, it's <laughs> one of those F words. Negs. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's been a day, hasn't it? Hi, friends. Piggybacking off of that, I just came from an event for Gamers Vote. Did you know you could also go to gamers.vote? You know, I understand it can be hard. Vote.org. You're like, but is that for me, a gamer? Uh, and I'm here to tell you there is an alternative in case you were like, but where's the voting website for me? Does it appeal to my This ain't your mama's voting website. <laughs> it is not. It is, is Paul not. running it? Yeah. But uh, next, next, what if I, what if I love farmville and bejeweled where should i uh, go then i would like to remind you that that makes you a gamer as well if you play games oh, yeah. if you enjoy games if you're enthusiastic about games you are a gamer and you know what gamers do friends they vote gamers vote you can check and see if you're registered and if you are not you can register right there easy peasy and did you know limited time only offer if you tell me that you registered after i peer pressured you uh you get one Count them, one tailor-made custom compliment just for you. Um, I'm giving those out all day long. So uh, just uh, go check it out and then let me say nice things to your face. Um, my name is Nago Oryx and I'm going to be playing Tristan Arana tonight and never for again. The last time. <laughs> yep. It all ends tonight. Terry. Okay. Bye. <laughs> 
I just got what? sad for a second too. I just had a sad, no, I'm just like, yay, vote. And I was like, <laughs> oh, this is over. But oh, but that's over hopefully too. So like optimistic, cautiously, cautiously optimistic theme of 2020. Uh, Cause so many crazy things. Um, if you're a nerd and you want to vote, you can go to at nerds vote on the Twitter and you can find a way to vote there and, and hook up with other nerds to vote. If you're not just a gamer, if you're also just a person who wants to vote and you're also nerdy, do that. Just sending people to vote tonight. I think that's super helpful because um, the biggest problem is a lot of people sit around, they don't want to do anything because it's hard and we get apathetic and it sucks. But a lot of people's lives depend on it. A lot of people have lost their lives for it. So let's do it. Um, tonight, I'm playing Eo Raymerts. Um, I'm a stout fighter halfling with a heart of freaking gold. Um, and I'm ready to ride or die for my, my fam here and see what's going to happen in this crazy far out future that we live in. Hell yeah. And Eric? Uh, I guess I, I you know, if, if you if y'all, if you're not a gamer or a nerd, but you love to rock, you know, if you're just like rock and roll all day, then you can rock the vote to rock to vote dot, uh, dot org <laughs> and, and register to vote and check to see if you're registered to vote. Those are all great things to do. I, 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 I you know, just do all that. Wait, but, Eric, what was it called again? Rock the vote dot org. Oh, that seems easy enough. Yeah. Tell me think, more. I, I don't know. I just had to, I was like, what's one that still exists? And I had to Google it to make sure it's still, <laughs> that that campaign still, yeah, and it does. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, hi everyone. I'm Eric and I'm playing Dirty Hank, the resident uh, drunk dwarf of the group. Yay. Awesome. Okay, guys, before we get into it, a couple notes. It is officially September and new subs get 30% uh, off. Uh, it's up to 30% off depending on the sub length. Uh, good exclamation point uh, subs in chat because it explains it better than I ever will. Please give subs to people. It's our big finale. Get into it. We love to see it. Um, we have a sub goal of 200 new subscriptions this month and uh, try to give them out to friends who you think will enjoy this content and come back you know, the subsequent month. So yeah, all of that's happening now. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, yeah, your tips and, and bits and word of mouth keep our little boat afloat. Uh, and it's you guys doing it. So thank you very much for all of your support. Go to exclamation point unlocks to see what the unlocks for tonight's finale are. Um, and other than that, I want to say a big old shout out to Hero Forge. Hero Forge just released like it's like brand new shiny website with all the new cool color uh, minis. It's a whole thing. I think it broke earlier when I was trying to go on it, but like Hero Forge is dope. You can make customizable minis for all of your TTRPG campaigns. Uh, Eric, can you do the can you do the cool? Uh... Yes. And this week, I actually can can show you not just a Hero Forge mini that I painted, but the one that they sent to me that is actually uh, painted with their their actual color scheming thing. This was all done in the app. You know, somebody not me. I didn't do it. It's not my character. But they sent it to me. Somebody else. You know, select all the colors for this this little uh, this little fox character, and it looks fantastic. I'm I was it's so like it's hard to tell on camera, but like the detail that you can get, it just looks phenomenal, and I think y'all would be pleased with it. Yeah, so give them a shout out and check them out and make cool minis. Uh, it's now it's more important now than ever. Have good hobbies. Have ways to uh, both relieve yourself from the news and what's going on in the world, but do not disengage from it. Uh, I, my, my whole like voter spiel, I don't have a website for you, but I do want you to know that like voting does not begin, like the process of voting doesn't begin and end on November 3rd. It is a process that exists now. So if you want to mail in your ballot, like it's all happening now, it ends on the third. So get into it, be a part of the process. And yeah. With that, I'll just hop off my soapbox. Oh, I hop back on again because I'm the GM and I need to stay up here in order <laughs> to run the game. So uh, we Do don't forget, it. every time yes. you sub or resub, uh, you get a reroll that you can either send to me or to the table, which I guess is a thing you could do. That seems fine. Uh, Terry, can I conscript, conscript you? Yeah, perfect. Ooh, what's that pencil? That's a cute pencil. Isn't it cute? It's a Palomino Blackwing. It's 42. It's the Jackie Robinson edition. Oh, that's why I got a special so edition print. Yeah, that's why yeah. it's got the blue and like that's a little, very nice old pencil. Dodger blue and it's got 42 on it. I would it's like one of my favorites. Thank you. I have the I have the art that you got that you can get with it too. 
done. Gotta Hell love yeah. our pencils. Mm-hmm. Uh, Terry and I are pencil nerds and I just appreciate I appreciate your game, girl. All right. So our first unlock is from Be Right UK, who gives a reroll to the table. Dark of Nate gives a reroll to me. Thank you very much. Stands in the Fire gives a reroll to me. See me, Davy. <laughs> See me, Davy. See me, David. Ninety-five gives one to the table and one to me, uh, splitting the difference. Well played. Yes. Uh, so Jander gives a reroll to the table. Uh, Duncan all gives a reroll to the table. DBG gives a reroll to me. Thank you very much. Tovixani gives a reroll to me. Amusing Cat gives a reroll to the table. And Misha Crossing, hey girl, hey, gives a reroll to me. Oh my God. Wait, hey, Priya, I have to tell you something. Please do. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was uh, safely hanging out with Misha last night and um, or it was today or something, I don't remember. <laughs> But she, she literally looked at her phone and then looked at me and said, Apriya followed me back. <laughs> <laughs> she I was like oh. so excited that you followed her back on Twitter. <laughs> I was so excited. I didn't even know it like popped up on the side. I was like, oh my God, Misha. And I immediately hit it. So I'm sorry if I didn't do it earlier. No. I meant I, forever ago. I feel fulfilled because I feel like I've talked each of you up to each other a lot. So... You are I feel... the bridge holding our friendship together. So oh, don't no, fuck it no, up. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All my serotonin from that just went away. Thank went you, Gabriel. <laughs> it just evaporated. I needed that right now. <laughs> <laughs> women supporting other women. <laughs> and oh, making them feel uncomfortable about their friendships. Listen. Perfect. Okay, I need also need everyone to raise a glass. We have uh, a butt ton, I believe is the technical term of toast to adjudicate. I will use that only that word for the rest of the day in order serotonin to get- Serotonin back. <laughs> get your serotonin back up. Thank you for finishing my thought. All right, our first toast is from Be Right UK who says, may your bays ever be salty and your streams trouble free. Booty. Booty. booty, salty booties, salty booties. Uh, the next toast is from See Me David ninety five, who says, "These have been four seasons and a mini series of pure awesomeness. Thank you, Salt Bays, for all the rolling on the floor laughing moments, all the waterfall crying moments, and all that sweet, sweet booty, booty." booty. Nice. The next is from Arquin. Uh, this one's just a sustained uh, booty. <laughs> uh, booty. booty. This is just a one long booty with several O's. We love I, a long booty. Just we, a gangly we love a ass. Long booty. That's what we love. <laughs> I like a booty that I reminds like a me of a hot dog booty. bun. Yeah. Oh just, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna nice. slip a bratwurst in there. Ooh, nope. Whoa, nope. okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh, tight, tight, tight. Uh, our next toast Not is anymore, <laughs> okay, back to the game. <laughs> what else do you do with the hot dog bun? This is not my fault. <laughs> nope, That's nope, nope, fair. let's get to the next toast. Let's do it. Okay, next toast is from Jimmy Buffett, who says, Watching you grow from self-absorbed backwater pirates into people who actually care about how their actions affect the world has been a wild ride. It's what? been an honor to be along for it. I'm proud of you and I'll miss you, Addy, Eoj, Trislin, and Hank. Booty! 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 I'm gonna start Harry another apocalypse. I, I don't care. Oh Harry my God, our dad is finally this. proud of us. <laughs> We were all making the same faces, like, what? And Eric was just like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Trash. Like, no, we were grown. trash. The rest of us are like, no, very <laughs> self-absorbed like, still. I am what? doing fantastic. I'm just over here making Hello? raisin toast. Like, you know, that's all I can do. Raisin You're toast right is an to act of charity. Because <laughs> it's delicious. Growth? Did that occur? Did I miss character I think growth so. for me? Mm. Oops. Yeah, Oops. if you blink Sometimes when you're in it, it, you don't notice it, you know? That's Aww. fair. That's true. I guess That's we true. need another season. <sighs> <laughs> Just like two more seasons. That seems fine. And our last toast for now is from the ever wonderful Mocho, who says, must keep Terry supplied in Palomino pencils. <gasps> Booty! Booty! 
And seriously, guys, Palomino pencils are like super good. So good. Just in case you're like in the market for pencils. So good. It's Blackwing by Blackwing. I'm a pin nerd. I'm a pin nerd. So I'm Ooh. like obsessed with the uh, uni ball. I'll do like a makeup. Oh, I love the uni ball. That's a great one. Oh. We used that at the shop I used to work at selling paper and stationery. That was the one we our go to. It's like know. it's like water flowing down a, a clear stream. You know what or I mean? Or a nice, a nice like fine tip pen. That's a I've nice. Never, yeah, I've never been like a huge stationary person, but a friend gave me this zebra pen once, and I'm like, it's a good one too. Like that one. So good. Yeah. I love that. Next is just like um. I like Bix. <laughs> Nega Oryx, you get the. She's fuck the out basic Bix. You get out. <laughs> Carrie, please take inspiration. <laughs> I'm you. so angry. I'm so angry at you. Excellent. Like it made me have to poop a little bit. That's how bad that pun was. It clenched up all my insides. <sighs> Terry, please add another reroll to the table, care of Zephyr. And one more for y'all, care of King Thanks. Dorkmas the Third. Oh, Long yeah, may he reign. Yes. Long may he reign. And oh, then Megan Caves. Hi. One more for me <gasps> from Almost is Cool. Thank you. Jordan and Megan, hello. Hi, you're beautiful. What's happening? What's happening? I'm just saying <gasps> hi to Jordan oh. and Megan. Hi, the Jordan caves. and Megan. Caves, Calamans, Caves. The Caves, <laughs> Calamans. They're so great. Okay, uh, we have a couple uh, unlocks that have already kicked in. So we're going to, uh, as we drop back into the fiction, uh, I want you all to know that you are the masters of time and fate. You have a single use plus five. Everyone at the table's got one. And uh, let's let's get into the game, I think. I think. So is that our only, our only thing right now is the plus five? I'm about to, well, I have to give a reason for the coin we to drop We also have coins too, right? Yeah, we're like not in the world yet. The world has not rezzed around you for. Maria. Yes. <laughs> can I have my coin now? <laughs> you already have one, but you can have this one too. Okay. We have another coin. It falls out of the sky. There is no sky yet or ground, but it falls directly into your mouth. There's a, just a gold dragon coin it is yours now. Whiskers on kittens. Terrifying. Mittens. All right. So it's late evening in one of the nicest neighborhoods in the city of Splendors, Waterdeep. Uh, there was a gala celebrating the beginning of the art season, and it's been disrupted by a tall Vidalkin. Uh, it looks like one of the Navi from Avatar. Thank you, Addie. Because <sighs> it does. Uh, that pulled the black staff, the most powerful wizard in the Sword Coast, uh, magically compelled through a rift in the world, reminding you all very much of your encounter with this uh, particular uh, bad boy 20 years earlier when you were all on the I island of Frere, discovering uh, the mysteries of the Chardolin. Uh, the magically compelled Vajra pulls from the same pocket dimension eight massive spikes, the same spikes that you saw used to great effect, great and terrible effect on uh, some Goliath and some citizens of Freyr long, long ago. And uh, she sends them scattered all across the city and you all felt under your feet the rumble as eight super massive statues, the walking statues of Waterdeep that like, se se several of them like, are imposing figures on the skyline. Some of them uh, lay sort of being absorbed by all the tenements of like different parts of the city, but they're all here and they rise up and begin wreaking havoc everywhere. Vajra looks at all of you, her eyes sort of uh, glazed over, not in control of her full faculties. The Vidalkin laughs and pushes her forward and she disappears suddenly. And you all are left with a, a, a giant, a giant puzzle, just a giant statue puzzle. Oh, it's what do a you puzzle. Do? Well, it's a puzzle. It's a fight. It's it's whatever. Spoiler you, alert. you can go. You can go back inside, enjoy the party. You have several options. I vote ahead we go back inside and enjoy the party. Yeah, that's and fair. have like a couple more cocktails, maybe. I would like to prove to chat that we've experienced no growth. <laughs> <laughs> What part of Waterdeep were the Obamas? Don't talk about the Obamas. 
<laughs> Not today, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Uh, whoever said that to trigger that in you gets inspiration from me whatever game you're in th those are transferable i will write you a note <laughs> that is offensive um, that is a good callback so today. uh you know what let's start with initiative please roll initiative for me no it's a Thanks, puzzle Sophia. why are you rolling initiative you no like you don't have to do anything in initiative yet we i can just have it on standby for when you want to start mm -hmm. doing stuff. or fucking mm -hmm. don't i don't know i'm not the boss of you you literally are but okay. I, like it's been four and a half seasons <laughs> if nothing else is true know that i cannot control any of you you will do what you do <laughs> we are babies you are all baby and above reproach what would you like to do I got a nine. I rolled. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got guys. no. I got an eleven. Hold on, hold on. It wasn't ready. <laughs> I rolled a twelve. All right, Eja, you just got a twelve. Uh, Addy, what'd you get? An eleven. Dirty Hank. Seven. Seven. Uh, is Jampers with you, Trisla? <gasps> I. Oh, Jampers, Jampers in a tux, though. Consider the following. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be real honest. I feel like I feel like Lil Jam Jams is dressed to the nines. Ooh. Well, oh oh! Can I pitch something, Megs? Yeah, go for it. Spats. We love a good spat. <laughs> we love a good spat, especially when it's attached to an abyssal chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the most adorable thing I ever did here. He's oh. just dressed like Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> I love that the chicken is dressed more formal than Dirty Hank. Is. Oh my God! Like of Mr. Course. Peanut or something. I forgot it's about Dirty Hank's character. Tommy Bahamas. You son of a bitch! How could you forget? I wore my good shorts. Name he's wearing, he's wearing Crocs. Basically, <laughs> he's such a California dad at a nice function. Ooh, like you're that's right. like. <laughs> yeah. What? What a, a true hellish nightmare for me from Orange County. Like, oh. I was gonna say that's the truth about Hank's backstory is his his ancestry is from Anaheim. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Jam Jams. He loves Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. What? Eleven for Jam Jams. Uh, Jam Jams gets to roll with advantage because he's wearing spats, and I think that's adorable. <gasps> oh They're, God, battle yes. spats. Yes. They're battle spats. They're battle spats. spats. <laughs> Okay, uh, still a moment because I rolled okay. two for the second totally one. Totally fair. Bum, 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 ba, da, ba, ba, uh, ba. Battle spats. Bum, 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 ba. And Rose falls in next to you. Uh, she's got a she got a seventeen. Just so you know, Rose Rose has her own like full character sheet and is here to assist you all. Thank goodness. So if there's something you would like her to do specifically, feel free to kind of grab her as an NPC. If not, I will have her do what I believe is in the group's best, best interest at any point in time. It's part of why I wanted a kid to help, you know, when I got older. Okay. <laughs> I need her to help take care of me out here. See, chat, yes. don't ever say we're not self-involved, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So initiative has been rolled, but you're still in this sort of like pre, pre do a just, hit. Can we what get a, a, a little bit more details about the statues? Like maybe uh their movement or sort of like their intention or their body language or okay so i'm gonna say glowing do they smell i just need to smell? know so these statues are very very far from you uh the closest one you can see is sort of like silhouetted against the skyline um and is like hundreds of feet it's like a couple like 100 feet tall let's just say each one is 100 feet tall because that's a nice round number they are they're so big that like people like when they were frozen would move into parts of them like someone lived in like the head of the lady dreaming like so they're all sort of just getting up pushing themselves to standing they have these big chartalin spikes in different locations on their body and uh, right now they are just moving throughout the city they don't seem to be headed towards you they're just moving and by virtue of them just moving they are crushing like neighborhoods it is just a full like Godzilla situation. There are giants in the sky. <laughs> exactly. Are they picking people up and eating them? No, they're not. They're just walking. That's all they have to do. They don't have mouths to open. They're can statues. I, can I ask a follow-up question? 
Mm-hmm. Are they all walking towards one fixed point, or are no. they? No, they're just separately yeah. walking. So they're just sort of they're just meandering around, and you hear people screaming. You you can okay. see like little pings. It actually looks like fireworks going off as like spellcasters in the area are trying to do things to stop them. Uh, I will say the most arresting one um, is uh, let me go to my list because they're all written. <clears throat> so all of you know that in the North Ward. Uh, one of these eight statues, the sword maiden is considered destroyed. Like it hit the ground. People sort of broke it apart, like Hadrian's wall, where you just go and grab some bits of it, like for building supplies or living in like parts of the hands. And like a bit of the elbow is just on one of the street corners and someone built a shop on top of it. Like this one is sort of destroyed, but you see that it's being, uh, it exists at its full height, but it's parts are missing there's half of a face and like bits of shoulder and a collection of like stones in the rough assembly of an arm and the rest of the form is filled out by uh this like surging pulsing gray energy that's sort of holding the sundry bits of it together in a roughly uh female presenting humanoid shape And is that Vidalkin still there? Yeah, he's still there. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I mean, so there's statues. Vajra disappeared somewhere. She's still under. Uh, con- b- b- she seems to be sort under of some sort un- of spell or something under some sort of spell. She is magically compulsed. And then this uh, bad boy in blue. Is she the connection? Is she the conduit you. making these statues be crazy? Uh, please make an Arcana check for me. Okay. Or history. I'm going to use a reroll. Do it. Also, Megan Caves, bless your heart. I love you so much. She gave a reroll to the table, which is weird and wrong, and we'll talk about it on Thursday. It's (laughs) everything right, everything Mm. right, Mm -mm. everything right about Mm -mm. it. No, you said I wanted. To, I need to roll. What was it? You wanted me to roll what? History. Arcana or, or history? Your call. Okay. Are you trying to remember uh, a thing that you saw just happen, or are you trying to figure it out in the moment? That would be like the differences between the two. Um, I think I'm trying to figure it out. I think, or try to remember maybe something. Remember. I think remember it's the same it's the same it doesn't matter so that's okay. cool so, so it's 15 one? either way but i need you to tell me which one okay i'm trying to remember something yeah History. so uh cool. yeah you i mean you, you guys have been in water deep for a hot second uh you know the black staff you're very familiar with her uh she's not like shy or retiring about her magic and rose obviously interns for her so you you have actually have a pretty good sense of her um yeah, she's magically compulsed. She's the one that drove those spi- those, those spikes into the statues. And very specifically, uh, the sword maiden that's held together with uh, gray energy. That gray energy is a like, it's a just a pitch perfect. That is the Black Staff's magical aura. It's why all of her uh, like associates, like the, the, the groups of adventurers that work for her to protect the city are called gray hands. Oh, because it's a gray energy. Mm-hmm. That makes so much sense now. Mm-hmm. I thought it's just because they like to wear gray gloves. They wear gray gloves in honor of uh, the, the black gray staff. energy. Yep. Okay. But it's the black staff. I like all of this. Yep. So it's like and a she's gradient. a black lady. So you know, we just we do what we do. Into that. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you wish to respond, Dioj? <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> honestly i thought about that but i honestly didn't have a thought other than like I, oh cool now i know what that is i should probably tell the rest of my team about it maybe you guys i mean know? i'll add i'll add on for the for the 15 uh you have a strong sense that like if vajra disappeared to go somewhere it's probably she's probably where that massive display of her own uh magic is i'm just gonna mind link it's annoying as ever okay. guys guys 
I know. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to pop, pop in. I know it's annoying. Right. I know it drives I think you crazy. Counts as an emergency. EO. Just get on yeah, with yeah. it. Okay, but I just want to make sure it's. I'm not. I acknowledge that I'm overstepping my bounds, but I don't want it to be like a problem right now. Right. Okay. Old habits die hard. Gonna get to the point in a second. I swear. So, that Vajra. <laughs> She had that gray energy and that's what's kind of happening from that big thing that you see over there. You see that gray pulse energy. That's Vajra's energy. That's all I'm saying. So what Vajra's controlling the, the. Goals? I don't know if it's of like her own will, but it's definitely her magic. Yes, yes. Trislin. <laughs> this is above. You got to say something because we're linked. I, I, I can't, I you just got to say it. No, nope, this is. I was yes, really Meg? drunk last time. Can uh -huh. I do a con check to see like how inebriated she is, if she's sobered up or not? Because she was like, yeah, three sheets to the wind last week. That is very true. Yes, please make a cons check. Okay. Uh, let's say with advantage because you're good at like when shit goes badly, you understand okay. how to like. I just rock can't and roll. respond to EOS until I know if I'm sober or not. <laughs> Tristan's been drunk for twenty years. Yes. <laughs> I know. Please, please, please take inspiration because that's a very good character conceit, and I respect that. Thank you. Okay, so that's a dirty twenty. Yeah, it is. Ooh, nice. Oh, hell yeah. So I'll leave it to you. How drunk is Tristan? Mm. All answers are valid. Okay, I'm gonna be honest and say. I think it would be a little unrealistic to expect her to just instantly sober up. I think what she experiences is the adrenaline rush of like, if you and your friends are all drunk together and one of them is having a harder night than the rest, you even though you're still just as drunk as you were five minutes ago, you're like, all right, I got to be there for them. I'm the responsible one now. And you kind of like, you pull it together and yeah. you hold their hair back and you find their ID and their purse that they lost and you fight off the bouncer and stuff. <laughs> that's where Trislin is. Uh, well, I have some stories for Fuck later. Yeah, um, yeah if you've but... never seen uh, Negs pick up a bouncer and throw him into the street, you haven't lived. You haven't uh, really haven't. Aww. Amazing. Uh, remember you gotta clubs. look out for your buddies, all right? Just saying. Uh, Negs, I'm going to give you extra, Benny. Uh, <gasps> you remember in your pocket, like it, you have a tiny, stupid girl purse. Um, inside it are two little, like, wrapped pieces of uh, fruity taffy. Every now and then, Tommy sends you a little gift and keeps in touch. And you have a couple pieces of those that you keep on you to like, you know, as a little pick up. As a little pick me up. Um, yeah. And I'm remembering they give us a little, a little boost, right? They give you a little boosty boost of uh, temporary you. HP. And we'll even say like a minor like restorative effect. He's gotten good in the last 20 years and it has oh. the effects of a greater, less, or a lesser restoration. So you can shake off like most of this drunkenness like there will be no mechanical okay problems i think i think uh trislin trislin pops one of those into her mouth like it's uh like it's gum on an airplane and you don't want your ears to pop you know where it's yep. like okay i gotta do this now and i think she just like she pops one in and she unwraps one with her other hand while she's chewing and she just shoves it towards hank and just doesn't say anything, but just like she's chewing hers and she hands one to him. <laughs> Both of you take 10 temporary hit points. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and then I think Trislin's gonna kind of look around her to make sure Jampers is there and she's gonna kind of like pat her like lower thigh or like her, her uh, like upper calf area to kind of be like, to make sure that Jampers is is nearby and is just gonna do mm. a little signal. They, they have a system going, you know, that's like a ready up jam jams kind of thing. And uh, and then she's gonna look to to Hank just to see if he's readying up or or what. What you up to, Hank? Uh, Hank is uh, he takes the 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 little candy, he chomps it and swallows it, and then he's gonna move. And just like fucking take off towards uh, the 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 blue guy to the Navi. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know how far I was from him, but I can move fifty five feet in one one move action. So okay. I can probably get pretty close. Uh, probably close enough uh, to do a water whip about it. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna get right into the fights then. Perfect. Good to know. This, yeah. Mm -hmm. he's gonna uh 
he's going to, and as he does it, he's going to just uh, yell in, in high dwarf, the uh, word that kind of sounds like, like desecrator. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, just, yeah. Okay. Um, make an attack roll. Okay. No, you make a dexterity save. No, oh, no thank you. you. No, what do you. I have to beat? <laughs> you have to beat a 16. Okay. Uh, with a natural 19, he does, in fact, beat it. Okay. Well, then, let's see. Uh, let's see. On a success, um, there's only a fit. Oh, half the damage on a success and no push. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. Is this a spell? Yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of here. He's going to cast counter spell. Okay. I'm sorry. You're a level well, 19. I, I, We're not new it's, here. It's water whip, so I don't know if it, it's a monk thing. It's not a spell. But it's not yeah. a spell? Okay, then yeah. All right. He'll take half damage. Because it, it doesn't say you cast the spell this, like normally. Like, yeah, you just do the thing. Yeah, this is water whip. I summon water to like grab him and pull him. Oh, perfect. But if if, if you want to counter it, I will accept nah. that. Okay. No, no, no. That's fine. Okay. And then uh, let me get some D10s going. I'm glad he has counter spell for this utter lack of casters yeah. that he's up against. Nailed it. Kobe. <laughs> uh, so that is going to be uh, 20, so 10 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, okay. And is not pulled towards me. He's pulled towards you. Well, no, he's not because he's saved. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I have a question. So out in this area, there's like a little like front lawn, like water feature uh, with like a cool little fountain and like a little like reflecting pool. What does it look like as Hank like summons his water whip? He basically like like runs, does a dive, and as he's diving, he full on Katara's, you know, Katara like like pulls it out and just like flicks it at him and yanks him back and Hell like yeah. it, it, it like wraps a tendril of water and just like constricts and pulls. But I imagine the guy just like you know like pulls himself out of the the water. Is that anime? Yeah. No, it's no. not. No, it's technically not because it's an American made thing. It's heavily inspired by anime, but thank you. <laughs> Actually, okay, thank did you. Did y'all know did y'all know that Abria has a podcast no, about what, what, Avatar this, the Last Airbender? Does this feel I like did not. The time it's called Storybenders, no space. This, this go is subscribe. Not go subscribe wherever How come you I didn't know podcast. this. This is not the time I could be this. learning things in between these shows. Why but did also no one take inspiration tell me? for <laughs> Vendors. there's already two episodes up so. oh my god oh, why did i not up, know man. this i can't catch keep track up. of wherever you are Bri. it's so it's so much thank you vienna so busy absolutely my love oh my god i can't wait to dive in and find out more what i'm missing we have you not hold on oh god we have to focus i have so many other questions though um okay uh let's go into our actual like initiative order now, then if dirty hank is going to come out of the gate and do a hit um, then let's start with Trislin. This dude hit me first. I mean, was, kinda. Yeah, I'm he so sucked the life out of a that. bunch of people. He did like 20 damage to me last week or two weeks ago. I mean, kinda. Okay. I'm just saying don't hit my bad guys all the time. You could just let them win. Just let them play. I have a question. Yes, Naga. Am I surprised? No. No. Okay, um, <laughs> then since I'm a higher level, I get to use my special thief's reflexes. And since I'm not surprised, I get to take two turns during the first round of any combat. Absolutely. Um, so my so that's first two turn... actions, bonus actions, and movements. So my first turn is now. My second turn is my initiative minus 10. Amazing. So I'll loop so... back around. I think my second initiative will be nine now. Yeah, that's I'm... perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, back so. at nine. First one, um, how far away am I from the Navi Boo Boo? Um, Navi Boo Boo, let's call him uh, 50 feet away. Cool. Well, like, what if we didn't, though? Because that's okay. kind of far. He is 30 feet away. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think that would work. Um, okay, 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 okay. You can I'm burn gonna... a reroll and he's 30 feet away instead if you want. How many do we have? Go for it. We have um, seven right now. Oh, no. I'm not going to use a reroll. There's that. more coming. Abria also has seven. Nope. We had eight. No, 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 no. Um, no. You have one more. Unkira gives one to the table. <gasps> Thank you, Kira. I love you. Okay. Oh, was Unkira? Um, Did I say yeah. it wrong? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all I'm good. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'm, you know what? I'm going to get 
within I'm trying to check okay my range on my daggers is <laughs> okay you know what can I use my it says range 20 and my 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 walking speed is 30 feet yeah so you can get all the way there and then so be I can just get all in the range way there and still use my action for attack cool absolutely cool you know what I think we're gonna go with that then. I'm gonna make a, a bold executive decision here, but that's what we're gonna do. You like uh, it? That is, ooh, that's a 23 to hit. Ouch! Uh, that definitely hits. Okay. <gasps> Phew. Okay, good. Um, and then now comes my fun time to ask. Wait, was Hank next to him? Mm-hmm. And so I. I <laughs> um, well, let me leave that to to Hank. Hank, did you end in melee range or not? Nah? You're muted. You're muted. Uh, You're I wasn't muted. Sure, I, I wasn't sure how far away he was, so that's why I was casting Water Whip for the range. So I didn't. I wasn't sure how far I had to move to get up to him. You uh, can decide now. Yeah, I, I would say. Um, I I. Yeah, I would say I would. I'm within within melee range. When I tried to, I tried to suplex him. It didn't work. I'm frightened yeah. by Abria being pleased by this, by the way. No, it's fine. He worked really hard to make sure you have sneak attack. Okay. And now I know he's close. Oh, God. Okay. Go ahead. Um, all right, y'all. Some, I don't know, bless emotes in chat. Some luck for me on this one because, uh, okay. And then we do, um, I'm doing math. I'm doing math. Please, I'm um, doing math. 10d6, 10d6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> how does 42 damage sound? Oh my God. Not amazing uh, uh, if I'm being uh, uh, uh. completely honest. Thank Can you. Can we reroll oh, damage? No, That's real low. I didn't add yeah. my plus three because my daggers are 1d4 plus three plus the sneak attack so it's 45 damage oh okay 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 cool cool cool, cool. oh cool wild <laughs> fun <laughs> super fine and does not make me very sad all right uh yeah he takes this like a uh, insane amount of damage and like staggers back uh not oa just for description's sake and then looks back and looks at you. Trislin, I need you to make, the thing he is doing right now is he is trying to put together the connection between you and Dirty Hank. So I need okay. you to give me a role to try to shake off, like to try to mislead him. Okay, what am I rolling? You can decide deception? if that's deception. Yeah, that feels good. Uh, or persuasion if you don't actually like Dirty Hank at all. Oh, that's so sad. No, definitely <laughs> deception. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're just okay. roommates. <laughs> we just live together for 20 something mm -hmm. years. Uh, okay, that is a, oh gosh, 17? Noted. Okay. 17. All right. Um, Rose is going to come up and yeah, some of you have taken damage and that's not super great. She does not enjoy that. Um, so she's going to cast, uh, can she catch all of you? She super can. She's going to give a quick old second level bless and catch all of you with the bless. So now, uh, for, uh, as long as she can maintain her concentration, you can add a D4 to your uh, attack rolls or saving throws. So she like surges forward to the group, catches all of you in her aura uh, and like closes her eyes and extends her hands and you feel this like warmth and light and you've known her your entire life. So you have that sense of like, not in a weird way, but like what the, the scent of her is. Like you remember what she smelled like as a baby and like, she is just a part of your family and you feel that surge of connection and all of you have that effect on you now. And then she's going to like kind of jump behind the fountain and take some cover because she, she's smart enough to know, like, don't get hit. She's a level five caster in a level 20 fight. <laughs> so let's not do that. 
but you, oh, go you ahead. repeat the effect because I got scared and I I forgot it because I got nervous that Rose was going to get hit. Oh, no, no, no. She's staying safe. Okay. And you can add a D4 to all of your attack rolls and saving throws until I tell you that for whatever okay. reason, her concentration is broken. Okay, cool. Perfect. Thank you. Um. Oh, God. Do I do the meanest thing? Yeah. Yeah. Dirty Hank. He's going to turn to you. And he looks from Trislin, who just did an aggressive amount of damage. And then he looks over at you. He's going to go, all right. And he puts his hand out and stops just short of touching you. But he's going to cast Disintegrate. Okay. So you have to make a deck save against a 19, which of course you will because you're a flip wizard. (laughs) (laughs) Is that like the wizard of flip decks? Yeah. Sweet. And I think it's an all or nothing spell, yeah? Um, uh, maybe. Like you're gonna make the save, and I don't think any of this happens. Two, two, two. So will twenty one yeah. make it? Yeah, totally makes it. Uh. And I forgot to do uh, dodge, so I was worried. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. So he casts it, and you are able to stick, like, to step back and jump away, and uh, you feel like the world around you crumble because it was, I'm going to say that for effect, it was an area of effect spell and you drop like 20 feet into this massive sinkhole as he reduces everything around you to ash. And then he looks down the hole and sees you and starts laughing and goes, (laughs) I won't miss twice. And then looks over at you, Trislin, to see your reaction. (laughs) Trislin, can I, can I, can I, do another deception check to try to oh yeah go for it okay if you're just trying to no sell it i don't show weakness you hella don't not in the oh i'm gonna use inspiration because i don't show weakness uh okay that's better Whew, that's a dirty 20 <laughs> originally it was gonna be a three so nice dirty 20. okay yeah all right. Um, so yeah, uh, he does that, kind of shrugs it off, and then like starts stepping back as it, and looking as like he's not going to turn his back on you and run away, but he's going to start backing away to like you know have some more distance. Uh, and that is his turn, which I need to do disintegrate when I know I can do a hit. Um, next up is I can't read Addy. Wait, what? I, I think it might be me. Eos, I think what was it your... might be you. I got a 12 and she oh, got an 11. I I got yep, 11. There we go. Yeah. That's okay. I would let my wife go first though. She's amazing, but I'm no, happy, good, happy to good. hop in too. I love you so much. I love you too. You look so beautiful in this you fight. Look so oh my beautiful. goodness. Oh, oh, you the look beautiful. The sweat glistening off oh, of you. Stop. Your skin I is do hate just When is Rose going to give us true. grandkids? Where's the grandchildren? <laughs> I want grandkids before we have to end another fight like this. I'm going to need grandkids. Right? We're not going to make it that long. Right? <laughs> right? Okay. So we what do you do? Extra on an attack. What? <laughs> I get extra on an attack. You get extra what? You what can add that? a D4. I can add a oh, D4. Oh, yeah, you add a D4. Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. I feel like I might need that. Um, I'm going to attack. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use my longbow because I never use it. I thought it might, do you have I might better use weapons. Weapon. I don't, do you not like that weapon? It has the most damage. It okay. has the most D8s. Hey, okay, okay. Go ahead. You what hate it. Is? No, she it's fine. She hates it. I don't hate it. Oh, I feel so judged right you. now. Oh my wait, God. Wait, 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 wait. Feel Jerry, effective. Yeah. Talk what about me. your God killer weapon? Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you. It's not on the thing. I'm, I'm so from sorry. Salve and I remember everything you've ever given me. I don't remember. I didn't say I remembered. I said I have. That doesn't mean I remember it all. It's in front of me. The amount of, of you pulled out of a margarita. level one goddamn longbow to a level twenty fight, and I'm just supposed to sit here like I didn't spend time crafting magic items or anything. I know. I was looking for that actually earlier, and I couldn't find. Totally I didn't fun. ever write it. I wrote it somewhere, but I don't have it in front of me anymore. Um, it's hot in here. I have a trident. 
and it's it does a lot of things. NBA play, play, player's sweater right now. Sorry, go ahead. What? Oh my God, <laughs> she really is. That sweater is so huge, Vanna. I don't think I can name a single NBA player. <laughs> I will give you LeBron. No, no, no. Okay, other than LeBron James, I will give you inspiration if you can name a single current NBA player. Okay, so Michael Jordan doesn't count. Super doesn't. Oh. I, I think there's someone named Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne Wade? Is that one? Um, y'all don't get to help each other. No, now you I come did up with a different it. one. I did it. You didn't say full name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doug. Uh, there's Doug. a Doug. Doug. Doug Funny, the NBA player. <laughs> No, but Skeeter definitely made it. Go ahead and take inspiration. It was a team effort. Skeeter plays b-ball? Yeah, Skeeter was black coated, so we assume he does sports. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I, I You're so I, not wrong. You're so not wrong. Never, You're killing me with the never, tea right now. I can never. <laughs> okay, Terry, please do something. Okay, you can I'm make a throw... longbow attack if you want. No, no, I don't want to bring a level one thing. I, I was just looking for my stats on it, and I think I have it over here, but I feel like that might be wrong. You know what? Want... Who's drinking and taking notes here? Like, what happens? <laughs> what happens? What happens in this game? Okay. I stopped okay. taking notes because I would go back and read my notes, and I wouldn't understand them. <laughs> Can't Honestly, it's my that. favorite thing to get. Like, it's only like, you only need like a word or two. You know what I mean, though? That's it's what like... I thought. But then I'd go back and read my notes. I'd read she them would, out loud to everyone. She, and she everyone would turn would to me. Like, she would turn to me and go, why does it just say baby arm? And I was like, I don't know. Why would you write that? Uh, <laughs> oh, we're still alive, though. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Amazing. So I just stopped because it was, it's just as effective if I don't write notes. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And I feel that. <laughs> okay. Bria, do you have the stats for my God killer trident? Or do I need to oh, find I don't. super don't. Okay, that's so fine. Abria's, Abria's eyes just went from. <laughs> He's the so over to me Abria's. right now. I honestly I'm was like, Abria, you. thank you so much for everything. It's been I'm so fun, you guys. You. I love Salt Bay. Uh, <laughs> I'm really not a little bit over it. you. I just I'm trying to think of where I had those written down. If I was yeah. a smarter or better GM, I would have made like like I had like a you. link on it, and like I I've cleared my search history because I think I had like even a fucking sorry a freak page um i think we could say fuck you're fine what how much is this worried about cussing on i know but i feel okay, like i'm terry, not the one who usually terry. drops the f-bombs on this show terry look at me <laughs> look at me pick a damage type what's what what magical if you had a bow what kind of damage would it do okay great um either like a pick an element or necromancy thunder piercing or slashing or nope. oh no i had necrotic i had like necro what was it is that what do i do you want to be a necromancer you can yeah. pick a new one now i'm building a magic Let's item as it. we speak so just pick a pick necrotic a damage, type. damage please yes, yes okay so you're gonna do necrotic damage it's gonna do 1d6 necrotic damage on top of 3d8 2d8 because you fire like 48 times great okay 2D8 plus a d6 every time you hit and it's a plus seven to hit. Mm, no, it should be higher. It should be like a plus eight to hit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Terry Misha says, wait, why did you clear your browser history? <laughs> I don't do that on my computer. I save that for another device. What wait, device? What? Do you have oh a smart God. vibrator? <laughs> <gasps> do those exist? Mine plugs in via USB. In? Hell yeah. <laughs> Girls, get you a smart one. Honestly, it'll remember things. Alexa, and... pleasure me. <laughs> no. No. Nah. Anyway, it's like one of the best things <laughs> I bought before the pandemic that I didn't when I didn't know a pandemic was coming. Anyway, um on to the next. Okay, so I get to attack three times at the same time. Just remember that because I'm yep, special. I had a D4 every time. So great. So let me add that. So I'm just gonna roll a bunch of dice all together. Cause I yep. got I think two that actually hit and then one that did not so let's party with that all right rolling dice thanks uh -huh. guys thanks to everybody for your patience i appreciate you guys welcome chat. to salt bay still we learning just, to play dnd &D. where we just know, make serious magic finale. items on the fly because fuck it because <laughs> fuck it is why. 
We don't. Um, I'm, pretty I'm in the middle of moving, you guys. I'm in boxes. I'll I'll be straight up. You're so good. Like, so I don't Terry, know. I'm, I, I'm just happy I knew how to find some of the things in my house today. Not to All throw right. too much at you, Terry, but you ha you can use Action Search twice now. Oh shoot. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm gonna do that one more time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So twelve plus six is 18, 18, 20, 22. What are you? What the fuck did you roll to hit? Oh, you need to know that. Yeah. I told you I hit two out of the three. She doesn't trust me. What does me. that mean? How do you know? I thought it was as high as some of the other people. Okay, let me just re hold on. I'm so special tonight. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. I have not said what his armor class is. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, is a 19 hit? No. <laughs> okay, I thought it would. I know. So five <laughs> plus that is 24. Does that, that hit? That hits. Okay. Does 21 hit? Yes. Great. The other one is the process of elimination. Do you know his armor class now? Is it 20? It is, Vanna. Do I, hit? I already I already gave you inspiration. I want to go May I use oh, I'm gonna use my I got one inspiration too. I'm gonna use it for this last attack because the last one was not good go ahead great didn't matter okay cool thanks you have re-rolls i know but i feel like did you add the d4 from bless yeah that's not going to matter for that particular okay all right so just actually, roll your damage actually if i add a d4 you might as well just yeah that'll be 20 that'll be like right i think it'll be 20 so meeting it 20 is hits Okay, great. And that's Let's why we that. use bless. Okay. okay, so please roll, uh, that should be 6d8. Yeah. Plus 3d6. Yep. Thanks. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you guys are so cute. What, what happened, Mana? What so happened? Much. What happened? <laughs> Fine. Vanna looks like she lives in a restoration hardware. I fucking hate she really, she really does. All right. 11. <laughs> I fucking hate you. No, you don't. Number one, restoration hardwares are cool as shit. I've never been to one. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, they can't keep you from going in. They don't know how much money you have. You can just go inside. Look at me, Bria. <laughs> Shit upwards, they would know. <laughs> they would fucking know. Oh my god, amazing! Uh, How'd you do? Forty-two. I Absolutely. feel like it should be better, but no, that's amazing. Sweet. It is the uh, meaning of life and everything. I need as a in reaction. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, and you have to beat a twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use a reroll on that one. I'm good glad call, I good didn't call. use it before because whoosh. Mom, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. <laughs> no worries. Um, 19. 19 does not make it. You're gonna take 40 points of fire damage as you get hit with a hellish rebuke. I'm gonna die tonight. It's okay. I mean, you're still going. You can action surge. All right. And I'm he only gets that. one reaction. Stop showing everyone your shit stain, man. Good God. I did not see it. I would like not okay, to see one it. One more time. One more. No, you don't want to see it? Or do you? I kind of do. I don't what I do, but I don't what I do, show but it. I don't what I. It. There it is. <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see it. It really Honestly, doesn't show up that much on camera. It, nah, it's got to be in person. I'm sure. I'm sorry. I the lighting in your house, not like a fresh shit. What do you want from me? <laughs> it just looks like you had like coffee in the wrong spot. Like you were driving or something like you're riding in someone's car and the coffee spilled over. I like that. She's you trying to comfort you as though you actually did shit yourself. And like, it doesn't look like you shit yourself. It's fine. No, one you know, know. you can do one of my friends is really cute. She would um like do like embroidery where there was like either like a little weird moth hole or like a stain on her sweaters. Mm. And so she had cool like embroidery of like cool flowers and stuff. 
just like we're like a sweater might be a little overloved. Just know? iron on a My Chemical Romance patch. Oh right my over God, that. you know me so well. I'm gonna put on my Uggs and get my My Chemical Romance patches. <laughs> I'm into it. Yes. Okay, action searching. Please do. Okay, that didn't matter. <laughs> oh no. That got me one, that got me one more. One Did more. Did you include bless? Yes. Wow. Why'd you okay. moan? Because I, I did. I, I included I everything. Like a fucking... I included everything, Abria. <laughs> okay, I'm cool. remembering the math now because anything that was under the last number no, I had, I if it's that. under that, it's it's not gonna hit it. I just don't a three wanna, and a four are not gonna bad. get me there. I want you to even feel with math. A three and a four, even with no, math. It didn't. Do you want yeah, rerolls? Use rerolls. Are you hey, trying to make me use all the rerolls now? Look at me. Look at me. You you all shut up, Siri. This is not your time. You all have those lucky coins. Each of you has at least one. Okay, I'm gonna use two rerolls then. Thanks, guys. No, we have five fuck. left though. Okay. Hey, wait, wait. Do I use the coin now? Is what you're saying? What she was saying. Oh, you want me to use the coin now? Is chat like so annoyed with me right now? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so you want me to use the coin now instead of the rerolls? Is that the what coin happened? is worth a free natural twenty? That's How what the coin times, does. Though? Can I only use it once? Yeah, it expense the magic of the coin. I wiped the makeup on my face. Off my face. <laughs> <laughs> now you, well, are you so stressed? Are you so stressed, Iron Eric? Man. Were you so stressed? No, I, just, I, I was laughing so much. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm stressing anybody out. I'm stressing myself out right now. No, okay. don't be stressed. So I used, so should I just do the natural training and not re-roll? Because re-roll, if I use re-roll, I might you get two. Do well, okay, you can do if both. If I use the coin, I only get one. Okay, oh, you right? can do whatever you want. I don't know. I you don't want to it. tell you how to live your life. I just wanted to remind you all that, that the coins exist. Okay, so um, I'm going to use a coin for one of them. That's how okay. that's going to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so are all three going to hit now that you've done rerolls too? Yeah. Okay, let's do something super cool. Thank you for the raid, Hunters. Look at me. I need you to roll a d20. So as you grab this coin out of your pocket, you're suddenly aware of it. And it seems to thrum with magical potential. And as you grab it in the middle of this, like you uh, shooting over and over at uh, Nibu's, that's his name, no one asked, but you can have it now, at the Vidalkin. Um, yeah. Nibu's? You feel his name? N-I-B-U-Z, Nibu's. Uh, you feel you feel the coin dissipate and time gets a little weird all of a sudden so this natural 20 will work and I, you can we'll double we'll do all the dice damage in a second but i need you to roll just a straight d20 for me as you start to feel a strange sense Done. of do deja I have vu any modifiers added to it nope just a d20 roll it's a 12 all right neutral effect you just have this strange sense of it's almost like your mind flashes back. You feel the sense of deja vu, like it's 22, 22 years earlier. And you remember this moment specifically hitting you in a wave as you were like sipping a margarita on the beach in Margaritaville uh, back in Salt Marsh forever ago before you like fell into uh, piracy and a life of adventure with this crew. And you're sort of just, reminded of that and it's a little wasting away again in margaritaville so go ahead and roll all of your damage for me so doubling dice so this round will be 8d8 plus 4d6 one more Eleven. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Thirty-two. Put it in. Anyway, that's how those coins work. Okay, I awesome. Coins, and I'm gonna release like the little stat block for them at the end of the game. You wanna roll high? Got it. So yeah, by the way, you guys are lighting my poor guy up. He's probably gonna die soon. 
Hate to see it. Hate to see it. 51. Nice. All right. He's not looking very good at all. Thanks for the good times, guys. I appreciate the support. Nice. Uh, is there anything else you want to do with your turn? Not at the moment. I think that feels good. Yeah, seems good. All right, Addie, go ahead. I have a question. Mm -hmm. How close is the closest uh, mech? <laughs> <laughs> the closest a statue is probably, I'll say like three blocks away. Okay, what do I have to do to be there immediately? Uh, if you look over, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, you know that uh, your daughter is technically a cleric, but she has a lot of like just straight arcane abilities. Uh -huh. If you want, uh, she has the ability to teleport you if you really want to get to the other side of town. She Rose, can send let's, you off. let's do the old one, two. The old, she's just ducking behind us. That's what we call one, it. One, two. What are you talking about? What? You know, remember back at like that barn and then. <laughs> oh, okay. Where? Where do you want me to send you? Addy just points at the nearest statue. Yeah. And you see, uh, are you okay? Basically, it's do you want. Uh, there's either just a, there's big guys, there's the deeply magical one, and then one of them's just a griffin that's flying around. So are you, do you want to get close to like a big guy or like the deeply magical one or the griffin? The griffin's smaller than the rest. It's the size of like an actual griffin. I guess the deeply magical one. That seems probably like a good idea. And yeah. surprise, that's the one that's closest to you. How convenient. She goes, weird. <laughs> We get a lied a bunch of like, that's not the one you want. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, she goes, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, good luck. Wait, just in front of it, on it, be more where, specific. Where can we, where can we see um, where- uh, You can't see the Black Vajra Staff right now. You can't Va see the Black Staff right now. But it, where's like, does it seem like there's an epicenter to the magical energy? Um, from what you know from Eoj's like arcana check, because I'm sure he explained it, like it makes oh, yeah, sense. Oh, yeah, I got in everyone's that, heads. Like, yeah, that Vajra has to be somewhere close to there, but you don't know where she is. I'm but just gonna to assume she's in the head. That's a good assumption. Because that's how it works in anime. That's how it works in anime and go that's right. You made a Ghostbusters joke, you butt. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> All right, and she goes, um, okay, I'm not super convinced, uh, how to get on the inside of it. I don't want to like teleport you like kind of into the wall. Can I put you on the on the head and then you can like just crawl get me in on the top here. and I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, okay, don't die. I love you. And love she reaches, you. She reaches for you and is gonna teleport you. And you are suddenly a hundred feet higher in the air, like stomping through this town. It's it's like there's tons of wind. It's cold, and you're just gripping onto this massive, like you're on like a curl of its of the sword maiden's hair uh, <gasps> by the by the helmet. The dream. <laughs> oh, to be on a curl of a sword maiden. <laughs> like right? Like honestly. <laughs> Some of oh, you got me. On the <laughs> makes me feel fine. Um, <laughs> the wind I don't know why on the wings <laughs> of a sword items. So you know you can get in through the eye, the ear, the nose. I'm assuming if I'm nose. on a curl, I'm probably close to an ear. So let's do like a, a Jackie Chan move in rush hour, <laughs> you know, and just sort of like kick Sorry. through the side window into the driver's seat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, go ahead and make an acrobatics check for me. Okay. I just heard like a massive crash behind me. And I, I also okay. heard that. Did I you guys also... all hear that? Yeah. It wasn't that loud, but I heard it. I heard Holy something. Holy shit. Are, Are you okay? okay? I don't know. Maybe I'm shot. I don't know. You've not. <laughs> you, have not... <laughs> you see like a scary thing of red. It was a gun and I'm dead. But that's oh my fine. God. I'll finish. Um, the, am I out of range of the bless? 
Uh, is it a range? Yeah, you're out of the range of it. Um, okay, then I'm gonna use a reroll. Please and thank you, Terry. Yeah, got you. Oh no, you don't have to within I range. I don't. No, it does. You don't have to stay in range. It's still yeah, on you. Because it's like you're oh, okay. blessed by a god. So if 12, you're in the cast 13, range, 14. you can leave. I think. Yeah. Okay, you're then good. I got a sixteen. Never mind, Terry. Never mind. Hell yeah. I got a sixteen. You do, you do sweet flips and like ride that curl, and you're able to enter through the ear. And uh, yeah, you see Vajra. She's like standing behind one of the eyes, and she's like focused very hard on maintaining this magical construct. And you see her like sweating and shaking with the effort to keep this specific statue together. Cause it's mostly magic and just some bits of uh, marble. Uh, does she seem to be of her own cognition? Not at all. She doesn't, she doesn't notice oh, okay. you and she looks just as out of it as she was uh, when she was pulled from the rip by uh, the Vidalcan. Mm, okay, can I Patrick Swayze's ghost her? I don't know what that means, actually. I don't think I've Make seen that pottery? movie as an adult. Yeah, like, a, you can do pottery? Well, I'm trying to revisit. It's I, Whoopi I'm, Goldberg's amazing, anyway. True. Just generally speaking. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think because Addie's has some magic, but obviously not the magic capabilities that Vajra would have. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think of how she could con control the construct without taking Vajra's position. So I'm wondering if she could sort of position herself behind Vajra in a way to control her limbs so that she can control the movement of the statue. Interesting. Uh, I can roll whatever. Um, or you can tell me no, but I'll cry. I don't want to. I don't want to say no to this. Uh, I'm just gonna offer that like this isn't like a puppeting no, no, situation. No. She's not like it's. She's not drift compatible with the statue. And like, oh, this isn't I mean, anime. <laughs> but I like where you're. Oh, she. Oh, she sat down. Okay. Um, please come back from your restoration hardware. Uh. Situation. Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna say that like you can, uh, by all means, uh, let's make a, you tell me what role you wanna make for this, but it's not gonna be like direct one-to-one, -one, like you grab her arms and start puppeting it. Right, right, right. But um, I like this, I like where you're at, where your head's at and I'm gonna give this to you. Honestly, I have, this is a weird pitch, but I have like deception. So I wonder if there's a way I don't deceive Vajra, but I deceive uh, I deceive the Avatar. <laughs> uh, Boo's job, I think it's their name. Um, yes. Naboo's, Naboo's? Did I remember something? Yeah, that's close enough. Naboo's, yeah. I said that, that's what I said, right? Yeah, that's what you said. Boo's okay. job. <laughs> Go ahead, make a deception check. Like, okay. break, break me off a piece of it. If you give me it in like role play, I'll give you advantage on the roll. Um, so I guess, I guess what Addy's thinking is that Naboo's is, uh, is controlling Vajra and through Vajra controlling the statue. So if Addy can convince that Vajra that um, or convince Nabuj that Vajra is still under his control, mm -hmm. then uh, then he will be none the wiser if maybe Addy brings Vajra back from like the brink and then they can work together to control um, the statue to their benefit rather than to Nabuj's. Okay, make a deception check for me with advantage. Okay. You have successfully fooled uh, Nabuz, who is getting his ass handed to him and wasn't hyper focused, but I want to give you something for that very high roll. So I will offer Would you like to attempt to assume control of, uh, of this construct away from uh, Vajra, the Black Staff, or, are you, or would you like to try to like reach Vajra and snap her from her reverie? I think it, I want to reach Vajra because like Addy is like, like has magic in her, but I just don't know if it's strong to hold, strong enough to hold together an entire construct that's like in pieces. 
Yeah. So I wonder if, if like reaching her in some way or snapping her out of it, um, and then together they can assume control Ooh. of of the uh, of the statue for their own devices. I like that. Okay. Um, because this is very specific and strange magic, I'm gonna make you do an Arcana check. Okay. But the DC is gonna be incredibly high. Okay. Um, so please make a DC 25 Arcana check for me. Thank can you. Can I can I pull out my diapy coin? <gasps> Your what? My diapy coin. Yes, please do. <laughs> okay. So uh, something as you're like trying to figure out the kind of magic you need to summon in order to break through this very high level, like imperious curse. I don't know why I said that. Uh, this very high level, like mind uh, connection, this spike between Vajra and uh, the Vidalkin wizard. You, your attention, your recollection is pulled to the diapy coin that you got. I can I, I can I can I just like like I've always used it as sort of like a, um like a worry stone. Yeah. And so maybe I'm just doing that trying to sort of figure out the dynamics of the situation that I'm just sort of like it's in my pocket and I'm just sort of like rubbing my thumb against it. And you concentrate really hard against it as you're sort of like fidgeting with it and then it disappears. Please roll a d20 for me. Aim high. No modifiers. Just a straight d20 roll. <sighs> Hold on, I have to Google roll dice really you quick. You don't, are you on the D&D Beyond page? I can just roll a 20? You can, there's a little red uh, icosahedron oh, in the lower cool. left corner. I have never seen that in my life. You're totally good, I just put it right there for you just right now. Thank you. You're I rolled welcome. an 18, I did what you asked. Thank you, okay. You're welcome. I just didn't, I saw that thing and I always was like, oh, that looks cool. I didn't realize I thought that, it was decorative. Was dice roller. <laughs> I thought it was decorative too. <laughs> Oh my God, Abria, you're just changing lives tonight. Wow, they Dude. should pay Holy you. Goodness. Wait, say that again louder, clip Dungeons and, send and it Dragons to them. needs to pay Abria. Oh no, D&D Beyond needs to you pay can, Abria. No, no, every one of that. you watching oh, right everyone. now needs to pay Abria. Jesus Honestly, Christ. I need everybody Abria. to pay you. I, I need Abria's everybody to cash you money. Is. Honestly, <laughs> the amount of work you do hurting us cats to like make a show. <laughs> is unbelievable Stop. clearly case in point tonight i feel like <laughs> you're good i know we're not i know we're supposed to keep the game going but i'm gonna make a stop and just be like you are a goddess i am obsessed you, you are, are so amazing you were so talented she did not pay us to do this i am just <laughs> very excited and i feel so fucking lucky every day that i get to be in the same timeline as abria Please. and like learn from her and if play you make me cry her. i will kill the party and like I'm just anytime you know. she calls me and i'm just like you can kill us all you want it's fine i'm ready for you to kill me and i'm gonna like it so like step on us sabria yes what get the big the boots on or whatever you gotta do and like step all over us step but, on like, us with your statue feet <laughs> you're amazing you are a genius i love you're you the smartest people i've ever Please. met in real life and it kills me I'm gonna I, cry. All this I success can't. you have is coming your way right now. I just cannot, I, I literally cannot cheer loud enough. Right. Like my roommates think probably like I'm crazy because I will scream to the mountaintops when I hear something like amazing stuff for you. I get so pumped because I just know like, you know, sometimes stuff happens to people and you're like, why? And you're like, you, I'm like, I know why. She's amazing and deserves more. And you are a star and I am just happy to be near your light. Thank you all very, thank you very much. Hard same. <laughs> all right uh, yeah. back to being a gm that is not emotionally compromised <laughs> thank you very much um whew. uh okay with an 18 you essentially have the effects of a true uh true strike spell so uh you your deja vu sort of comes to you as you're playing with this uh this worry stone and you are sent back to like simple moments of you being the captain of the fair Juliet with your crew sort of happily yelling at them because your love language is screaming <laughs> and you're holding a uh, little baby Rose and playing with this weird coin that you found. And you have the sense of deja vu of exactly this moment up here, looking through the eye of a massive statue held together by arcane energy 
uh, looking out over a future water deep and you know what comes next. So your next uh, role will have advantage. Ooh, okay, and okay, this okay. role with a natural 20, yeah. Uh, how do you, you explain to me, how do you reach Vajra? Cause you do it and you do it phenomenally well. Um, what does it look like? Oh man, that's a great question. Um, I, I honestly think in like this, in this moment of, uh, just like um, a complete loss of like autonomy and uh, loss of like bodily and mental and magical control. I think maybe the solve for that is just acknowledging Vajra's autonomy. Hmm. So I think I, I think Addy takes a deep breath and then holds Vajra's hand and, and says, you are here with me. You Vajra are here with me right now. You Vajra are here with me right now. And the, like, as you hold her hand, like, have you ever, oh God, I don't know how to describe this without sounding like super dirty. Have you ever touched something that's vibrating super, super hard, like painfully? I have an electronic like it, toothbrush. <laughs> I put that exactly shit like in that. my skull. When you get it all up in your gums. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it feels like the, the amount of like magical energy coming off of her as you grab her hand and you sort of like dial into this uh, electrical connection that she has holding this whole thing apart. It, it's painful. It feels like you're shaking your bones and you're able to like stay in there and you can hear this sort of like reverb in the space. Your words are echoing more loudly. And after like three or four reverbs of uh, hearing your own voice kind of bouncing around the inside of his head, it gets really, really quiet and the buzzing stops and you're in free fall. And she looks over at you and says, Rose, oh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, her mother. Oh, hold on. And then uh, you all like jerk to a halt again, probably 30 feet off of the ground as the rest of this like structure has fallen apart. But she's just, she's just levitating the head now. <laughs> so it's just a weird sword maiden, half of a face. Oh, no. And she goes, uh, Okay, I'm just gonna set this down really. How did you do? Huh, interesting. And she just sort of lets the, the head like come to rest on like a street corner and you guys can walk out of it. And you have returned to Vajra back to herself. Hi. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I'm not sure if you are uh, privy to it in your state or not. I'm fairly aware, yes. Okay, yeah, just checking. I just, you know. No, I didn't choose oh. it, I'm just. Right, I did, yeah, right, no. I think that How was abundantly you... clear. How did you do that? Um, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I just, uh, I just tried to remind you who you are and what you are uh, and what you're capable of outside of somebody else's control. Um, and uh, she just turns and hugs you. <laughs> and then immediately backs up like, oh, I'm so sorry. I should have asked. I, whew, <laughs> whew. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, That's all right. I've gotten really good at hugs in the past 20 years, so. I've been practicing. Okay. Um, I would, <clears throat> uh, I would love to have a conversation with you once all, oh my God, there, yep. That's just going to be crushing the dock ward. Oh yeah. Can you help with these since you yeah. did that? Yeah. Well, you're also apparently good at this. Can I send you, uh, okay. Do you see that one down there? And she points oh. like eight blocks down and you just see this like 
it's a massive towering man with a beard holding a big ball in the air and he's just high knee stomping through an area he's like, can i send you there to do yeah. something about that do you have like some notes or um uh the big spike get rid of the big spike okay i'll just get rid of the big spike yep sounds good and she just grabs you by the shoulder and gives it a little squeeze and it's going to teleport you to like across okay. town to the next statue so we'll come okay. back around great and then <laughs> you don't get to see it but she also disappears and heads to another statue yeah Ooh, so you guys are doing okay. a statue game okay perfect okay uh next up <laughs> we're still going down the initiative order what does jampers do <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh good question oh my god jampers is bad Jampers the Gundam a spat. pilot. <laughs> Let's do a spat. A spat okay. with his spats. Yes. Spats, spats. Um, it's been a minute. My gosh, a lot has happened since initiative started. I'm sorry. Something else did happen, and I I just decided to check the stream. Uh, now, um, so a couple things we have to adjudicate real quick. Uh, Are we one, level twenty? One, I need everyone to level up to twenty. Really? Yes. What? <laughs> so I'm so sorry, Terry. Uh, a Ooh. little bit more work. It's fine. Oh. I'm just gonna put it in the app happily. Yep. Thank goodness for the D and D Beyond Thank app. Thank you, chat. Oh you literally God. cannot be any higher level. You are gods of this realm. You guys are amazing. <laughs> and while we do it, uh, I will I will roll really quickly. Um, oh my God. Golden years. Golden Can I get a gods. sign pull for Terry? And oh, one for okay. yourself, Eric. Okay, great. Uh, Eos, Raymer. Yes. Uh, you become invisible. Huh? Ooh, invisible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can get in your minds and be invisible now. I am a golden god. Okay, and <laughs> let's see. A nice little one. Uh, uh let's see uh apparently a gate to a randomly chosen outer plane opens up uh let's go a different one unless you want to leave this finale yeah. entirely you can it would be amazing yeah <laughs> i cannot yeah, imagine please. something more chaotic than like dirty hank fucks off yeah that would be very <laughs> fun uh he's like you know what i'm this is too crazy um <laughs> how about oh i didn't change my background and i meant to how dare Go you? Ahead. Uh, sudden change in the weather for one hour uh, within one mile radius. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Dramatic I rain? What are we no. going to do? Uh, what is it? What are we doing? What are we doing? The thinking? statue's dripping? Oh, okay. Uh, there's a lot. There's. Um, it, I've only seen it once in my life uh, when I was in Florida, but there's a phenomenon where there's lightning strikes, but they're just between different clouds in the sky. So you're just seeing lightning from cloud to cloud to cloud to cloud to cloud to cloud, like oh. all over the place. It's very beautiful and very weird. Nice. By the way, this is what the statues are like in Waterdeep. Is that that man I'm at right now? Uh, no. Oh shoot, I should have done the one of the other guy. No, it's a different one. So many big men. There's with so beards. many big men. My dream world. Are you in Portland? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if only Waterdeep is in Portland. Can you imagine? Terry, how could I you? mean, but slightly the less lie? racist. <laughs> and not as many strip clubs. Oh my god, the best part, and you get good steak there too. It's one of the best what? parts about Portland. Do you Portland not know about has, this? There's like Zagat rated most... steakhouses okay. at strip clubs. It has the most strip clubs per capita than any other city in the US. Because it was a logging town. Steak. So it was Let's like go. all these logging guys were like, hey, we're gonna if we're gonna log up here, we need to log up here. So like there's a bunch of strip clubs there. And they're really good. And they also like are because there's so many, they have to stand up out, like stand apart. So it's actually some of the best food and like formerly RAP buffets, but like best buffets and like that were like at strip clubs. And even some of them were Zagat rated like steakhouses. Fucking amazing. Because it's Portland and there's still like good cuts of meat and food. Terry, please take <laughs> another inspiration for just dropping a knowledge bomb about Portland on me. I love Portland. I'm into it. Okay, what's Jampers doing, Negs? Okay, so... Here's just what I want to double check because a lot has happened in the <laughs> so much has happened in the limited number of rounds we've taken. It hasn't been a full round yet. <laughs> in the limited number of individual turns that yeah, we've respect. done. Yeah, <laughs> respect. Um, so 
I just want to clarify the uh, where is the Navi Boo Boo? Navi Boo Boo is at this point about two. Uh, I don't remember how close you got if you moved closer at all. Uh, I, he's like 20 feet in front of you next yeah, to a big say, crater. I was, I was 20 feet away from him. Yeah, he's 20 feet away from me. Oh, no. Okay, so he backed up a little bit. So he's probably about like another 50 feet away from you, backing away. Uh, about to exit the premises like remember you're on the front lawn of just a rich person's house and he's like sort of fading back he looks very beat up and no longer like stoked about being here because he didn't one shot dirty hank like i wanted to i mean he wanted to okay so jam jams uh is gonna try to make it over there okay jam jams makes it over and under under actions it says multi-attack and i just yes. want to clarify so Please jam jams can him. do one bite and one claw attack correct. on one turn correct okay, cool so that's what we're gonna go for mm -hmm. and it's, it's been a minute since jam jams has done that so y'all has uh, jam jams ever done an attack yes but it's been a very long <sighs> time yeah, one time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Chat will back me up on this one time. Uh, dear yes. chat, please confirm. Yes, one you are, time. You are one institutional time. memory. One Did time. Jam Jams ever attack under Nega Orgs' uh, power? Because I definitely think I attacked at some point as Jam Jams. I heard he attacked once. one time. Junk Garage knows what's up. Once. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, only once, though. Mm -hmm. So one of those is a 23 to hit. It's... The other one is a nine to hit. <laughs> the second one does not hit. On that one. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, 1d6 plus two slashing damage. Okay, hold on. Okay, that was great. That's four damage total from oh Jam Jams of slashing damage. How actual dare. Yeah, take that. What if that was what killed him? That would be amazing. Yeah. If you're just like, I, describe how Jam Jam kills him. I was going to say, I really, really wanted that to work. Damn uh, it. It would have been amazing. It would have been so good. I kind of want to make it the truth, but. Oh, man. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I just don't have anything I can do to, to boost you're good. Jam Jams. But Okay, oh, so well. uh, Jam Jams goes. You are back in the initiative. You get to go a second time. T2. It's my turn Judgment next. Day. Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. It still has not reached the end of the initiative. Dirty Hank is waiting. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just, we're getting so much done in this one. We are the oh, best trash pirates that ever trash pirated. No, no, no. I think there's not that much fun to be had of just like cycling through, like, like hitting hit point, like just do cool, fun stuff. Yeah. And yeah, it'll yeah, eventually yeah. be your turn to do cool shit again. I feel that. Um, I'm honestly, I'm going to go for another dagger attack then. Yeah. Uh, and I assume that I'm going to have to move because you said he moved a little bit away. Yeah, I assume I'm going to have to do the same again. thing of action, bonus action, and I get one attack. For okay. sure. Okay, cool. So, fingers crossed, chat. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. That is, a ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, ooh, 28 to hit. Ooh, just barely hits. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Just so you know, uh, the AC is stated as twenty. Cool. So yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to check every time. Uh, uh, we still have that extra D four. You still have bless up. Cool. Um, the, uh -huh. I am trying to see if there's anything I can use to add extra damage to this because I don't think so. It's just one D four plus three, plus an extra D four, which means nine damage. Okay. I mean, yo, that's not nothing. And he looks very bad. Okay. So he is bleeding like splashes of like dark blue, super viscous blood, like are like puddling onto the ground as he continues to stagger back. And he is uh, muttering in a language you do not understand. Yes, Hank, I understand you understand it. Uh, and he's just um he keeps going on about like <laughs> tr 
trying to escape and finding another timeline to attack you all again. And where is Rose? Rose is at the heart of this. If I destroy her, none of this happens. I can undo the mistake. Excuse fucking me? I'm sorry, you're like 20 blocks away. Out of character, above game. Excuse fucking me? What? What? You come into my house, you attack my daughter? I do not think so. (laughs) All right, Dirty Hank, you're up. Well, Dirty Hank understands all languages, so he hears exactly what he, what that said. So yeah. from the crater of the disintegrate that he shrugged off like it wasn't even a big deal, he's going to Master Roshi rip his, his shirt off and just, <laughs> and you see just how... And bleeds out his nose. Yeah, just how much of a brick shit house he is of a man underneath that baggy shirt. Uh, in doing so, seeing uh, the two coins fall out of his pocket... And he goes, and he's going to pick them up in both fists. Uh, he's going to jump out of the crater, see this man, and he's going to charge this man. Please make do- an acrobatics check to charge to jump out of the crater. Okay, I just yeah, got to yeah. throw something in yeah, your yeah, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I, I get it. I get it. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. You want to you wanna make sure it, it works. Uh, so mm-hmm. 19, 21 plus, uh, plus 9, so 29. <sighs> yeah. It's pretty I'm pretty good at some of this stuff. Um yeah. That was yeah. So he's he's going to jump out uh and he's going to stare him down and he's just going to charge uh and he's going to attack twice with those <laughs> coins, the two coins he has. God. So that's going to be Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Uh- <laughs> Go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Just a straight, two straight, straight. d20 rolls. You oh, want to yeah. aim high. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One is a 13. Yeah, stop rolling over there. Uh, stop rolling over there. Uh, the other one is a 10. So I'm not okay. very high. No, it's okay. They're neutral effects. You just don't want low. Um, yeah. And Hank, more than more than the other the other salt bays. Like your mind literally flashes back to pushing yourself up uh, from falling asleep under uh, that one weird kind of sad sort of dying palm tree in salt marsh that you fell asleep under all the time. And you remember having like being like you literally freeze as you push yourself up to sitting as your mind connects to this one point and the deja vu you felt then of this future event it sort of tethers and ties and you know that you have been here before and that all of this feels weirdly familiar as if your mind is slipping through a little tunnel between two distinct discrete points but you're able to shrug it off and with two natural 20s in lieu of fucking rolling dice just tell me how you finish him off uh he's Dirty Hank basically rushes him uh, faster than like uh, like basically uh, just just like he jumps up, at, lands, stares him down, and just does that Dragon Ball Z thing where he just disappears and just like ping, and then like shows up in front of him. And well, here's I, I my just, problem: is I'm not a black man, so I don't watch Dragon Ball Z. Okay, he just he just. He moves so fast that you don't. See, he just sees Dirty Hank appear in front of him. Yeah, Dirty no, Hank I got it. <laughs> grabs him by the scruff of his, uh, his, his whatever like robe, and just headbutts him full force, knocking him unconscious. I mean, yeah. Okay, so yeah, he's down. He's out. That's it. That's game. And you feel this sort of like arcane pressure lessen around you, and uh, the what few nobles are still up after that initial wave of uh, tremendous force kind of look at you all and they look at you dirty hank and they all like clap a little bit as they're like bleeding and staggering and begin to like like they're all just now that the way is open they're all kind of fleeing and heading heading to safety okay do you want to do anything else uh I'm, i'm just like bind it Find this person's hands and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The, Hell yeah. They'll probably um, be out for a while. <laughs> Rose is gonna kind of come out of hiding and go, "Holy fuck, that was crazy! 
oh, I don't know. I have an accent. I shouldn't have an accent. I'm from here. Um, I raised you. Why wouldn't you have an accent? I don't know. It comes and goes. <laughs> It seems like I'm locked by Abria's ability to do an accent and to remember. Um, but all of you, uh, the three of you that are still here on the lawn, one of you that's across town on this like massive statue, all of you are teleported back. You're transported to uh, years and years and years ago when you were all sitting watching the sunset in a little like bar in a shack on the beach of Salt Marsh in that little area that was known as Margaritaville before it became Wasting Pottsville. Away again. Yep. You can all hear the songs playing some like lazy bard with like a really bad tan singing in the back. Now with that added context, you know that this was one of the first of many forms of Jimmy Buffett who's been looking out for you, your whole adventuring careers, your whole lives as you went from a bunch of scallywags to heroes. And you, you all sort of see him give you a knowing wink as if reaching through time to say, this will all make sense someday. And I'm here for you. And I'm proud of you. And as the like flavor and smell of a delicious, salty, limey margarita fills your nose and your mouth, you're all blessed with bardic inspiration from Jimmy Buffett himself. Add a D12 to all of your roles for the rest of the night. What? Cheers to Jimmy. Yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah. And he's been Thanks, looking out Jim. for you the whole time. I and thought he was our enemy at some point. <laughs> <laughs> he's been everything to us. He you know? had to make you Wait. the people you are today. Wait, a D12 to everything. Every D20 roll, you can add a D12 to. Everything. So just so you yeah. know, well, you've dealt with the big bad. All that's left are these massive statues. So DCs for dealing with that will be very high, but you'll be rolling with a higher net average. Like, I'm, I'm just, just I'm just appreciative. That's oh, a yeah. gift. Thank you. Is that chat? That, that was that? chat. Thank, Thank chat you, for that. chat. Chat, <laughs> you guys are so kind. Thank you guys so much for Cheers. just riding this wave with us. Oh my goodness. So we really do have a round of toast. you. So let's do our, our, our next round of toasts yes. as Jimmy Buffett back in the past raises the glass to all of you. And the first is from Duncan All, who says, it has been an honor and a privilege to follow the salt bays. Booty. 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 The next is from the man, the plan, Jimmy Buffett himself. Listen, there's a character limit. I couldn't both say that you kind of care about others and that I'm proud of you, but they're both true. Just let me be nice without getting confrontational about it. <laughs> Booty. Booty. Good, good luck with that. <laughs> like, Abria will come for you. I know. <laughs> Never for Jimmy. Never for Jimmy. We love Jimmy. Uh, the next anonymous pirate who says, if I hadn't been planning on this already, the restoration hardware joke would have sealed the deal. <laughs> Thanks for d and and the laughs. Booty. Booty. You do live in a restoration of hardware, and that's just true. It's beautiful. Yep. The next is from under, underscore 65, who says, fun times for all. Booty! Booty delicious, baby. And I think you're ready for this jelly. The next is from Junk Garage, who says, I love this group so much. Please do not die. That's not guaranteed yet. Booty! Booty! We do our bells. The next is from Derek Lee Ketchum. Oh God, oh my God. Do, not, do not delete yet, Dom. Uh, <laughs> Derek Lee Ketchum says, I love my salt bays so much. They will be missed dearly, but forever live on in infamy. Booty! Booty. Booty. We're not done yet. Keep sipping. I, I have to get more beverage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the next is from King Dorkamus the third. Long may he reign. Thank you all for being the chicken soup for my blurdy soul for the past year and some change. We didn't earn this, but I can't wait until D&D Beyond gives a Bria a show to hear Tora Lockopti say this. <laughs> I'm a drip dragon and my breath weapon is bars. Booty! Yes, booty. booty. Hell to the yes, like booty. Got the Torlock Opti spinoff. I'm I want ready. a fucking swag dragon. Why have I not I'm been ready. doing this? Watch that so Damn, much. That's on me. Ooh. And last but not least, we have a toast from 
but Mikey D, who says, let's go 20 for the adventure. Booty! Thank you all so much for the toast. Thank you for the love. We have a couple re-rolls. Captain Obvious has a re-roll for me. Uh, the luggage has a re-roll for the players. Sam Burke has a re-roll for the players. And Ellipse Sky has a re-roll to the players. Yo. All right. Thank you all so very, very much. And uh, let's drop back into the fiction. Um, I'm going to pull you all out of initiative now. There are seven statues left. What do you want to do? How can we take them all down? Because clearly it took us that's long to get through just <laughs> the one. <laughs> You're good. I can mean, I, yeah, can, go I uh, can Hank look to see if like it, like if he notices that uh, the other one, I guess I wouldn't have to roll. I could just see that the other one became just a floating head and then is slowly lowering itself. So it's like one's taken care of. And I know Addy probably went to that one. Yeah. So you saw it like dissolve and then the head drops and then it gets back. Yeah. Yep. All right. I mean, I don't know. You all Can see those massive spikes, by the way. Like it was very obvious what has sort of powered them and what is controlling them. Also, any tactics that you would use on an ATAT -AT would probably also work in this situation. <laughs> I don't get that <laughs> reference because I don't like Star Trek. <gasps> Abria. Uh, we're talking about fireflies. Why did that hurt my brain? I thought I was going to be fine. And then like, I knew it was coming. I could see it coming and it still made my brain go. <gasps> <laughs> She's just trying oh to God. upset y'all. She's trying to upset y'all. Yep. I don't know what anything nerdy is. Uh, it's so sad. It's so Bria's sad that least, it works. The least nerdy bitch I've ever met in my life. <laughs> But you know, yeah. she's played um, several sports. I know she's a sporty Weird. and I love that, that about her. Paul. She's like sporty spice. That I made Paul. one of my Paul. RPG characters off of her because I was trying to be like sporty. And I like, it made me feel athletic for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh, so what do you guys want to do? You have, like, you have the brief of it. There are seven statues walking around, big spikes of Chardolin, uh, poking out from different places, you know, remove the spike or destroy like the structure entirely. Just really quick, did the death of Booby Boozy like do anything? Not dead, no. just unconscious. Oh, uh, well, he's not dead. Concentration broken either way. Right, that would have resolved uh, the problem with Vajra. Oh, so I, my turn was pointless? No, you'd solved you solved one of my statue problems. <gasps> and you made a friend. And I made a friend, which is not something Addie knows how to do. <laughs> she did it so effectively, though. <sighs> Autonomy is important. Hell yeah. So does anyone want to go? Uh, are, we not, are we out of order right now? Yeah, I'm going to say you're out of initiative. You can uh, just sort of decide on your own. It doesn't have to be. Well, like, I'm, I'm in a giant man's beard right now. Just hell yeah. that out there. Okay, so you're at a giant man. And in this one, uh, he's holding like this big ball with his hand and the spark, uh, the spark, the spike goes straight through his wrist. So you are on the top of his head. You can get up his arm. And it's like 25 feet up his arm to get to the big turtle and spike, but the spike is probably the same size as you, just for what it's worth, like right. a sense of scale. Huh, okay. That's a big spike. That's a, a big, big spike. spike. Could I do like a fucking like dive bomb on it? Yeah, you wanna try to use athletics to just pull that bad boy out? Yeah, but like uh, use, the force of gravity to help me do it. Like fucking, whoo, you know what I mean? Like, whoo. Yes, absolutely, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna say that you can get up the, uh, you, no, go ahead, roll an acrobatics check for me or athletics to scamper up. Um, athletics is a 24. <laughs> oh my God. So you just body up this bicep and get to his uh, media. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, I linger on the bicep though. It's really nice. This guy, it's like an old guy, but like, he's well built. Yeah, just take this moment. Yeah. That's for you. Should I be I, jealous? I ain't never you know, I see this? Am I watching that, this from afar? <laughs> that thing before. It's like six miles away. 
<laughs> Again, can I see this? Am I jealous? Can you feel it? You can feel it in your heart. Absolutely. She is touching a giant bicep and I know it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. You know so, you would too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, go ahead and try to pull it out. So the DC I on this. I 24. No, that was to get up. I said you have to make a roll to get up the arm. Now you have an athletics check to pull out the spike. And the DC is 25 to pull it just with your arm. But remember, you have let me roll a inspiration from Hold Jimmy Buffett. On. 17 plus 17 plus three is 23. 17 uh, plus three is not 23. <laughs> Next. Yes. Thing. Oh, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Megorix, please take inspiration for also knowing how math works. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, y'all suck. Mm -hmm. Y'all a, a pile of bitches. Yeah, um, just a bunch of bitches, a lot of us. Please add your mm, D12 of inspiration. I already did. That was the 23 I made up. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's 20. And I haven't used my plus five, so, oh. right? So I will use you that. You haven't used it yet. Nicely done. I haven't used it, yeah. So yeah, you pull this like massive spike out and like get your arms around it and like dig your fingers into like the jagged sort of raw ore of it. It's not like super refined. And you you like keep pulling and you're like, I can't believe I think I'm just gonna body. And then it starts to get. Well, but no, it's the gravity, you know? It's like, um, it's like in wrestling where you get up on the ropes and then you use, use the gravity to make it more effective. Yes. You, you use gravity like a wrestler and pull the spike out. I want Addy to be a pro. I want Addy to be <laughs> the Rock Johnson, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Addy the Rock Bomyar, you pull the spike out and it goes clattering down uh, 120 feet because remember, remember this arm's like up in the air. So uh, it's, it, I mean, you could try to hold on to it, but you also have to like, once it comes free, you have to scamper down too. So I'm assuming you don't want to hold a six foot tall. Yeah, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and grab the nipple as I fall. You don't, you're not falling. You can oh. scamper down effectively. <laughs> you just have to drop the spike to do it. Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, it's Okay. Here's In my mind, do. I'm hanging from the spike. So when it falls, I fall. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it when you said it. I can see you just yep. doing that. <gasps> I'm dying for this. Like, I'm do like, who? Do oh, you like it? Oh, it? <laughs> I love this you so fall much. And die with it? No, I'm I don't want to die. That. I want to grab the nipple on my way down. Like, like Lara Croft, Lara Croft. She's like, okay. nip nope, nip Make nope. It, nip nope. <laughs> and you rip it off like a nip nope. And uh, it, go ahead. It, it reminds me, it's all for a circle, full yeah, circle. I like that. Okay, make a athletics check to grab the nip and then <laughs> recreate nip hanger. Just nip hanger. As you catch yourself. Ooh, can I use a reroll, Terry? Do we have some? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I use a reroll, please. Yep. Do it. Ooh, much better. Let's do a 24, y'all. Yep, 24. You're absolutely able to grab onto it. So now I want you to make an arcana check because this thing needs to stop moving. And it's either going to freeze right in place here or with a DC 25 arcana check, you can control it into its, rest its new resting location in the city. There's no bad way for this to go. You can just stunt on it. So please make okay. an arcana check for me. There's, I think, I rolled like the best I could possibly roll and I only got a 19. I don't have any arcana. <laughs> I mean, a natural Oh, one. but I got a 12. I got Jimmy Buffett's 12. Okay, so I got a 19. I'm going to do math correctly this time. Y'all are going to be all so proud need, of me. All you need is a six. I rolled a 12! <laughs> <laughs> I Howdy. want... I want to, I want to, I want to control it into another statue to disarm another statue. Huh. I want them to go boink. Um, okay. I will allow you to do this, but understand that every time it takes a step, it's fucking up part of the city. Oh, how close is the closest? Wait, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotic Trash. evil. <laughs> <laughs> and you made the true pirate 
cra uh, trash toys. Okay, so you see either the griffin sort of flying around in the air and you can absolutely swat the shit out of it and probably yeah. shatter it. Or yeah. you can like run across town. And I'll say you can find like this, this big beefy bitch. I think the I think the compromise is is the Griffin slap. So okay. I'm not destroying countless meaningful lives. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention or I bothered you with the human cost of this. Yeah. Um go ahead and make about that. <laughs> make an arc or no no, make a make an attack roll. Just treat this like an unarmed strike. Once again, DCs are 25. Nice. All oh right. my God, what is happening? So you literally swat this thing out of the sky and it freezes where it is just sort of standing in the middle of the dock ward, hand extended, it shatters the griffin. It just reduces its dust immediately and freezes mid slap. Oh my God. All right. I imagine that's my turn. Yeah, that's you <laughs> and all of you. You can you you all have a sense like it's you can't see clear across the city, but you can see these big structures moving around, and you see another one like swing, and then stops moving. So that's three down, five to go. To go! Oh my god! <laughs> what? Anybody need we to? We still ride? have forty-two minutes. We can do it. Forty-two. Oh my god! Isn't it 52? Forty-two. <laughs> None of us can do math. <laughs> oh, 52. I'm drunk. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm proud of you. So just so you know, Rose, like Rose is kind of looking at all of you like, I, I sent my mom towards one of them. What's my accent? Nothing. And she starts out to do an accent now. I can send you to other statues if you need to get there. Yeah. We're gonna need help. Make that happen. Okay. Cause and I'm gonna fly there and that won't take a while. You can fly? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can fly. I um, can also be invisible. So if you want to like send me someplace and then I can just like disappear while I'm no there problem. and then they're I, not going to. I can be no, attacked you, too. No, aren't you just invisible? You're just invisible now. Yeah, they're, you're just invisible oh, right yeah. now. Can no one see me? Yeah, who no. can they? <laughs> What's invisible mean, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like I could control it. I'm just invisible. That's it now. It, you get the, yeah. it's a spell <laughs> that was cast upon you, essentially. Oh, God. I honestly thought it was like a good thing. Like I was like a power, like I was just going to have him be able to turn it on and off. No, but now I'm realizing. As a monk. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay, Aaron. I thought I was cool level 20. Like I was going to be able to turn it off and on. This is hilarious. All right, great. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah. me, I'm sorry. Is, can anyone hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Where are you? Terry, do you know what invisibility is? I'm right here. Hey, <laughs> what? Wait, I don't see you. Also, can mind link with everyone? <laughs> so it looks like no one can see me, but I'm glad that you all can still hear me. You know, it's like when someone meets somebody and they like feel like they like have to speak louder, like when we're in another country, because we're like, I'm speaking English to you right now. Oh, that's how I feel. So bad. So where am I going? Where can I go? We There's... got stopped at statues. Okay, but is Rose going to help us get to where we need to go? Is that what just I, happened? I don't know. Dad, I don't know where you are, but I did say yes several this times. This is me holding your hand. Ah, Jesus. Don't oh, just grab, dumb buddy. Shit, I just can't you grab you. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't mean to grab you. I just wanted to let you know that I'm very close. <laughs> yeah, okay. You... okay. You don't have to touch people, geez. I mean, I'm not, I get it. You're I'm my not, dad. It's I'm not a, weird. I'm, I, it's just, it's surprising because it's hard to, I love you. And please, I can send you to another statue. Do Probably for the best. And the statue's not even going to know I'm there, it sounds like, either. So I can just be near it. And then yeah, okay. um, dad, I can I'm grab its hand, too. Uh, I can't hear. And she puts her hand out and you see her like swinging wildly. Boop. And then she makes contact with you and then is going to send you. And you, EOs, are going to be sent to, I didn't really explain which, uh, well, no, I have a little bit. Uh, you're going to get sent to the Sawagan Humble. So uh, this is a big, like, fish person that's kneeling over off of, like, off the coast. And uh, he, like, it, as the statue moves around, like, that's what its normal pose is. But it's sort of just walking up and down the coast sort of just smashing all the- Do you like, like long walks on the beach? It does. 
He likes long walks on the beach and getting caught in the rain. Uh, so you're getting, you got teleported onto its head. Perfect. I'm going to ask it. Do you like long walks on the beach? Cool. It doesn't answer because it's not alive. Dang it. <laughs> and you see uh, in its like shoulder is that massive chartling spike. And I have to get that spike. I guess it doesn't hear me. It's fine. Some people can't see me. Some people can't hear me. I understand. This is like being in a relationship sometimes. It's very difficult. Not with you, Addie. Don't make that face. I wasn't talking about you. I can see you. <laughs> and you just hear inside your ear, uh, hey, are you, are you sad? I feel like I was, I, sorry, I was picking up that you were talking to yourself and I was just wondering how you were doing. I'm in the middle of a, a big like ship battle with some other pirates. But Is this Juliet? <laughs> Hi. Oh, I ship. missed you. How are you? Oh, I'm super good. Thank you. Uh, I, I was getting some like low level. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm not on the channel. I'm not sad. Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit worried. We got these big statue things again. We got to like kind of save the world again, I think. At least this world of water deep right here because these these like very big statue things are trying to take over. They don't, okay. they're not as smart as you though. Cause they're not talking to me. Like I asked this guy if he oh. likes to go on long walks on the beach cause he's walking on the beach, but he said nothing. So I don't think he's got like a lot of thoughts about things. Does he have, like we do. Does he have the runes in his forehead? Like me and Taika have? Uh, I'm going to examine. Do they, does, the, does he have any runes? on the top of his head and kind yeah, of like and I'm going to reach down. down and like, nope. no. Nah. No runes, just like this big Chardolin thing it looks like, and it's like shoulder kind of thing that I got to go take out. Okay. Well, if you put the runes on its head, it'll probably be like me and Taika. I don't know. I don't know if we want that because he's real big and he might destroy some things. So maybe, but should we make him like you? Oh, I don't know. I enjoy being special, but I think I would like to have siblings. I don't, I don't know what your context you is. I can't see anything. Oh, uh, no, he would be your brother. He's, he's real tall. He's very, seems very nice. Is he likes hanging on the... No, nah, he's not a boat. He's just a statue. Yeah, okay, I guess. I don't know what a statue is, but that sounds fun. Um, it's kind of like, brother. you know, like the front of the bow, there's like, there's like a thing on the front of the bow of the ship is shaped like, like a person. Uh, yeah, that's one of those. It's kind of like that, but like real big, like could like probably pick you up actually. Like bigger like, than the ocean? No, not bigger than the ocean, but could probably like lift you up though. Okay. It's like how, like, if I hold the rose, the baby rose when she was a baby, you know, she's real tiny. Yeah. She's not tiny anymore, though. No, I can still kind of pick her up, but she's a little bigger than me. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm getting shot a lot. Just give me like two seconds. (laughs) Okay. Sorry. As you learn, stay safe. Stay safe. Can I put you on hold? (laughs) Stay safe. And like 30 seconds later, she's like, okay, I'm sorry. We're fine. Hi. It's fine. I'm trying to get the Charlene out of his shoulder, and then I'm going to try to see if I can put some runes on his forehead. Hold on. Okay. okay, I'm gonna try to do that. Can I do that? How do I do yeah. that? Yeah. Do you want me to stay on the line? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go. You seem busy. Bye. Click. Ah, <laughs> uh, kids. So yep. nice to hear from them, though. Hell yeah. Uh, please make an intelligence, just a general intel- intelligence check for me. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to add that d12. I won't forget to add a d12. I gotta add my intelligence, intelligence, intelligentsia. Okay, great. Twenty-four. Shit. With a 24, if you pull out the spike before carving in the runes, it's not going to work. All right. So I'm going to start carving in these runes. Yep. (laughs) Okay. Give me, uh, let's, let's call this a straight like artificer check. So please using your tinkering tools, which in this case is a giant fucking knife. Yeah. You try to chisel into like the solid marble of this statue. You know, the runes, do you pull this off? What's my modifier for that? You said it's just uh, it's a D20 tinkers. plus your proficiency plus your intelligence Great. plus a D12. Oh, then I'm good. Then I think because it's like 33. The DC is 25. It's yeah. 33. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roll a D6 for me. Okay. You could have made that a higher die. That's fine. You should have. It's fine. Five. No, it's okay. It just, it takes you about five minutes to okay. etch this in. And at the end of it, like you see that the the chartolin seems to like disintegrate and falls into the Sawagans like statue body. Mm-hmm. And as it like goes away, this is not uh, this is not a hollow statue the way the other ones are. So you don't 
it got pulled into the the marble, but it it didn't drop into like an empty like piggy bank. So it's just in it, and now you see like runnels of like chartalin ore streaked throughout this Tawagan statue. It like went into his bloodstream, basically. That's yeah, basically, crazy. like veins. Yeah, that like veins bad. in marble. Is that and bad? Then it huh? No, it just means that it's not a spike. It's just the the magic of the chartalin is like part of it now. Oh, okay. It's and like a charger. First... Oh, go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's like a charger. Like it's charging him up. It's like gonna keep him charged. There you go. And you hear inside your mind, Yoj. Where, what am I? Son. What? I always wanted a son. This is nice. I got I got some daughters. They're wonderful. I got stepdaughters. Like it's cool. But I'm very excited to have you here. Um, you? You're going to help us with your, uh, with the brethren uh, that are causing some problems. Uh, you okay. made fucking Frankenstein and you're like, yo, bro, what's up? Let's go. <laughs> He's making a persuasion check. That's what for can me. you do when you do that? Like, you know, like, I'm like Dr. Pretorius, Dr. Frankenstein, like all the, all the crazy scientists are like, yeah, I made a thing. Please. Yeah. Also, he was he's a twenty-five. About his stepson. Oh, I need to get a twenty-five. Twenty-five, or this thing is just alive and out of control. I'm gonna re-roll just to save humanity. Probably a good call. Don't forget, you have your D twelve. Yep, I got that. You too, have a but simple that... use of a plus five. Yeah, that I already used my plus five. Oh, did you? Yeah. Cool. Do I just get a new monster? But a yeah. while back, I'm gonna kill you with it. I've decided cool. if you don't roll high enough, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill your character. Okay. Bye, guys. No, what'd you get? 15. We plus have re-rolls. We have re-rolls. I rolled a three. Plus we 12 is 18, correct? Okay, I can use another re-roll if you want. I don't want to fight you. She just said she wanted to kill me. So no, I like I want that in that, like I want a lot of things. Like I want okay. I'm gonna roll another. I wish dice. I was a little Hopefully bit taller. That's better luck. I wish I was a baller. I, was a baller. I wish I, I was wish... a girl and good yeah. out collar. Wish I had a rabbit and a hat with a bat and a six form Paula. All right. Um, I still think because I had to get 25 though, right? And I'm at 23. Wait, wait, did you use Jimmy Buffett's plus 12 or D12? That is with the D12. Did, did you, you use Rose's Bardic Inspiration with the pl or? No, uh, bless, bless, bless with the plus D4. Does that count? If it, I thought it was just for attacks and save. Is this a, a save? This is, let's call this a save. <laughs> okay, because I'll say that that's what it would have to be, right? So 27 yep. then. No, it's not four. It's You have to roll, roll a D4. D4. Oh, well, here it comes. So, uh, don't roll a one is the only wrong answer. Cool, cool, cool. You just say that and then you, you know what it. you did. Don't roll a one. I don't, the only one don't, you can't do. You can't, what you resist persists. Quit saying the don't, The only Abria. thing you can't do is Stop. roll a one. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest your four. 27. Hell yeah. And I'm going to say that that's the last use of bless because the concentration has got to have gone down by now. Okay. It's yeah, been a Rose, minute. Rose fell asleep. She's taking a nap. But yes, she's, I, tie. She's, I tie. thought you said she's baking. <laughs> she's no, she's she just tie walked tie. back inside that house and was just like, she was like, well, that's happen. dealt with. <laughs> she's so tired. Yeah. I'm going to go make muffins. <laughs> <laughs> the Sawagan just goes, oh, okay, I guess I'll help. What do you, you can call need? me Papa? It's fine. Wow. We're going to have a good time. I'm gonna Papa. make you some toast and you're gonna love it I with raisins. Eat. I don't even know how I'm alive, but sure. It's the chartalin and then the ruins on your head. Do you need me to get some information uploaded to you somehow? No, oh. I just need to know what you need me to do next. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the other bad statues that are kind of doing some bad things around here or maybe turn one more of them if you want a buddy. Sure. And then he's going to turn in the direction of the next closest statue and he just bounds, like uh, takes a big froggy leap in the uh, direction. Slow down, slow down. Uh, maybe no. not bounding. Maybe you got you to gotta go slow and you got to go purposefully because you might hurt something. Sure. 
Kappa. And we cut back to uh, we cut back to the lawn, and Rose is looking over at the two of you and goes, oh, "Okay, who's next?" Ready when you are. Are you going together? Are or am I sending talking? you different places? I just are... I want to go send. I'm, I have some muffins to go bake, so if I could just be done with this, so I can go. I'm a level five cleric. I don't. This is all I do. Like here, have a cure wounds. Uh, both of you cure. Uh, I'll roll for it. Both of you cure fifteen points of damage if you've taken any. Just like I didn't. This is what I do, and then I teleport, and then whew, I'm all tuckered out and out of spell slots. So where do you want to go? Just send me to the nearest spike I can pull out, please, and thank you. Okay. And, and uh, for me later. <laughs> yeah, you, you go and buy them cream cheese once. <gasps> Shut the fuck Ooh, up. I wonder if they have cream cheese here. Maybe we'll see what they have in this rich people house. Do rich people eat food? Mm. Yeah, rich people eat all. Well, they don't eat it, but they have to have it made, and then they throw it away. But then they put it in the trash. It's still good. Oh, okay. I'll look for trash che trash cheese. No, right. You don't don't look there don't first, but if you can't find it. <laughs> Ooh, I know where I'm going to send both of you. This is going to be fun. And she walks up and puts her hands on both of your shoulders, and like a single bead of sweat as she tries to like split her ailer to go in two different directions. She's going to send Trislin to the Lady Dreaming, which is over in the Castle Ward. Uh, I've always described the Lady Dreaming as being around the Lighthouse Opera. It's like a statue in repose with like a theater in the crook of its arm as this lady's like posted up taking a little nappy nap. Dirty Hank, she is sending you to the great junker, drunkard in the castle <laughs> ward, which is just like a big dude that fell over and looked like he's like, he looks like he's passed out, you know, like you were for a very long time of your life. All right. The lady dreaming. The, uh, the Tartalan spike is actually through her navel uh, on her tummy in this like long dress. Dirty Hank, uh, the great drunkard has the spike through the center of his forehead. And I'm going to roll, see who goes first. Trislin, you're up. Cool. OK. What do you want to do? <sighs> OK. You can so grab the spike. You can try to destroy the spike, too. You don't have to just do beast mode pulls. I don't have to do what now? You don't have to just, like, it's not, the only option isn't just pull it, physically pull it out. Like, you can get rid of it Got however it. you want to. Okay. Lateral solutions to, to my, my, my puzzle problem. Cool. Um, I sure would like to give it a good stab if that's at all possible. You can stab the spike or the, the lady dreaming? Just the spike, the spike. Okay, yeah. So the lady dreaming uh, is, oh yeah, I guess she would be up. So that's where she was. That was how you remember the statue. She's actually walking. Uh, it looks like she's holding like a, like a stereo, like 1980 style but she's still holding the Lightsinger opera as she's just walking through the castle ward. Oh, that's nice of her. Yeah. It was weird. She like woke up with it and was like, I woke up like this. Here we go. <laughs> kind of looks like Beyonce just walking around. Oh my God. I just got the lemonade double LP today. Black is king. Black is king. <laughs> you can see it. It's literally yellow. Yay! Oh my God. I love it. That tour was so good. Oh my okay. God. Oh, remember concerts? Sorry, bye. Oh my God. No, I don't. <laughs> All right, team money. What do you want to do? Uh, Make an attack. Money. So I you am. land. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that uh, it's in her navel. You actually land on the steps of the light. The light singer opera, like that she's holding. So you oh. land on like normal terrain, and then you can see down probably about like 35 feet in diagonal. Okay. Is that big spike? I. So like angle wise. Mm -hmm. walk it can i walk down to the navel to be within rapier range of it uh this is one of those things where she is standing up imagine you're a tiny person on you as a person right now so i have slippers of spider climbing that i'm wearing so i can move up down and across vertical surfaces like, uh -huh. yeah, can do it that yes you fucking, fucking are oh yeah. my god damn so, oh sorry. my I, god I so that. go so for a walk. goddamn walk okay we cool. love the okay. reveal we, we love the reveal uh, for chat, uh, in between that twenty-year gap, uh, Trislin got some. Uh, she got some new clothes, so just, that's that's what I chose. Uh, let's go for a nice little stabby stab then. <laughs> and that is gonna be ooh. Okay, that is a twenty-four to hit. Yep, I mean a twenty-four is gonna hit. You're good. If you want to destroy it entirely, you have to hit a twenty-five. 
Okay. In that case, I can add that. It's it's just every D20 roll we can do. Every the... D20 roll. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to add that then. Um, oh, yeah. So... You should have added that to begin with. <laughs> I rolled it doesn't run out. I rolled the 12. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. So, uh, never mind. That's a 36 to hit. <laughs> you hit? absolute child yes roll okay. a d20 roll a d10 for me a d10 mm -hmm. okay uh oh okay okay you want to roll low and i'll say you can use re-rolls if you want lower <laughs> i rolled a one <gasps> okay well you did it it's gonna I... take you about a minute of concerted effort to literally like chisel in and break this bad boy apart you're just like you're not like digging the whole thing out. You're just kind of reducing it to like chunks and it's breaking off in blocks. It's unrefined metal. So it sort of clumps and shatters and shears away across like bits of its cleavage. And you're just kind of in there like knocking it to crap. And it's going to take you about a minute and you'll be pretty like tired and out of breath by the end of it, but you can do it. Cool. So the first time I've been excited to roll a one ever. Ever. It was ever, the best ever. one you've ever rolled. It's so good. <sighs> I was just about to scroll through my stuff to see something that would have helped me with that. No, you're golden. One, but... okay. okay, good. So same rules. Uh, please make a DC 25 Arcana check or either she's going to stop where she is. Okay. Which so. is currently just like at the edge of the castle ward. And she's like on her tiptoes, like one of her hands is on this like big like gated area like it's on like a wall and she's like peeking over the wall about okay. to step over so i did not roll well on that one okay but thanks to chat leveling us up to level 20 i do have stroke of luck now which <gasps> is if i fail an ability check i can treat the d20 roll as a 20 so i'm going to use that now beautiful so Okay, so you got what's your what's your full arcana? Uh, I have a plus zero, so that's a twenty. Okay, <laughs> plus so, my. What, do I still add because it's just the d twenty roll plus the twelve that I added, right? You always add the d twelve roll. So that's thirty one. Oh my god! Yeah, where do you want this to stop? You get to decide. You can control it into its resting pose. That's what that arcana tech does. Okay, so like geographically, how far has she moved? Like, where is she right now? Uh, she moved probably like five or six blocks. She was she used to be like posted up in the shadow of like this big like kind of cliff formation, and now mm -hmm. she's literally like peeking over into the castle ward. Like, she looks like she's about to like hop a wall. Okay, um, I want to make like a really weird request. Mm, you please said it do. looks like it looks like she's about to hop over a wall. Uh huh. And she's like carrying a theater. She's holding a theater in her arms like this. Cool. So is there room? What I want her to do is to put the theater over the wall and lean forward, like stretched over it. So just her arm and her head are over the wall and her body is still behind it. So she's kind of like, uh, Draped like making beautifully. A, yeah, like a, a half circle curve kind of shape over Shit, it. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. She do, do, she, she do. does that okay. and she comes to rest and you're able to like obviously get off as she's like laying down like you were at the navel and you're able to like effectively walk over and around. You can just walk up her butt up and over and back into the city proper. You did it. Yay. You solved my puzzle. Let's jump over Yay. to Dirty Hank. Okay. Uh, where do I land? You land, uh, let's see, the great drunkard is uh he's staggering uh there's something interesting about like these are not the original names these are what they're called based on where they like fell when they came to life during the spell plague and moved through uh the ethereal ethereal plane to like wreck shop in water deep hundreds of years ago but the power of a name has like resonated with it and he's literally staggering drunkenly through uh like the like an, the eastern part of the city and it's just like taking a couple steps and falling over and like knocking down buildings and pushing himself up like a dude on a bender and you are just on his shoulder. And the, uh, the spikes in his forehead? Center of his forehead. Cool. I'm going to use, cause I, cause, cause you gave it to us and you said, who wants it? And I took it cause nobody else wanted it. The ring of shooting stars. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, 
I'm going to shoot a star. I'm going to have uh, a shooting star c- come from the sky and strike him in the forehead. Um, okay. What? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's one of its abilities. I can use uh, up to three charges. So, uh-huh. And to cause a, a, a star that hits anything within 60 feet. It's going to be targeted on that spike on his head. Jiminy Christmas will make an attack roll, I guess. No, you make, a, you make a, a DC 15 dexterity save against the star. I mean, I, I'm gonna. I have a shit ton of rerolls. Okay, I got 12 twice in a roll. 13. 9. 16. Now I made it. So, no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm going to keep an earlier roll and keep these these for later. Because I will have it. So you're not using reason. any of those re-rolls? No. No, I'm not. Because I want this to hit. All right. Um, yeah. He's just going to wear that. He's going to take that to the face. So uh, what's the damage on there? Uh, let's see. It's uh, That's wild. Yeah, it's going to be uh, on a failed save. It takes uh, 5d4 damage. Nice. Oh, here's what we're going to do. Here's what I like, because I want to, I will burn those rolls and say that you have to like fire it again. So he like swats away the first one and you can send another shooting star. And yeah. as he's like staggering, like the second one hits and connects. Okay, so go ahead and roll the damage for me. Uh, that will be 12 damage to the spike. Okay, so as it hits, it knocks the spike in further and you see like, behind its eyes a little like glimmer of uh like silvery like energy flashes behind it as this like is more in tune with it and he you actually see the eyes blink as if pushing it in farther has made this thing more like more sentient but it's also damaged so it's only got like 12 or sorry 13 hit points left on the spike so what do you want to do uh walk up there and uh just punch the spike in (laughs) you want to punch it all the way through yeah (laughs) okay go ahead and make an attack roll okay dirty hank said hammer time (laughs) oh my god remember 25 does the cool thing okay one of these okay but it's only like a 12 i'm gonna use a re-roll good call Get a better. Okay. Yeah. So that's not gonna. Uh, let's see. Are you adding your D12? Let me see. Let me get the 12 on there. All right. Do you use your plus five yet? I have not used my plus five. That'll <laughs> that'll actually help because uh because my punches are plus 15. So that'll that <laughs> that's a 20 plus the the five I rolled. So. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So you punch this spike all the way through its head and it actually exits out the back and you completely knocked it through it shatters away this one was actually a hollow on the inside of its head one punch man is he <laughs> whoa did you make did you an make- anime reference this i've been doing homework i've been doing homework i've been asking people up. i've been trying to oh po- learn our girl is In honor of Terry. Up. Dirty Hank's going to stand there and go, normal punch. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It blasts through the back of its head and what little bit of like growing sentience it was getting. You saw like the blinking horror of like, what have I become? And what am I doing with the, with my life? Oop! And it just shoots out the back. Uh, please make a DC 25 Arcana check. Okay. To see if you can control this thing. I'm going to say you have advantage on this as a, you saw something of your former self in its eyes after that first hit from the shooting star. Okay. Uh, so I got a natural 20 on that. Uh, Jesus plus, Christ. Well, don't plus, worry about it. It's a natural 20. Uh, with the, the other, with the D. Dirty Henry. Well. Filthy Henry. Mm-hmm. That, you did it. You did it with Filthy the 20. Henry. Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to do? This thing is sort of staggering through an Eastern ward, approaching a cemetery. It can okay. go anywhere in the city. It, I it it seems somewhat accidental, but it starts like kind of falling back uh, uh, a little bit and stumbling as it like is as it like 
realize it's, it's alive but also dying uh and then it it's gonna like fall down and then just like s like as it like like sort of just slumps back down in sort of like a sad pose uh like with its its legs crossed uh we we pull back and then we realize that the the one building sitting between its legs is is Addie's son's uh bar <gasps> The name of the bar is Gale's Ales. Yeah, it's Gale's Ales. How about Gale's Ales between those pale flails referring to the thighs of that statue? I liked it. <laughs> I genuinely liked it. That's amazing. Beautiful. Please take inspiration. Iconic. We love Listen, it. I have three inspirations. I can't I can't keep getting inspiration. I live in a restoration hardware. Um, that's that's inspiration that right inspiration there. Inspiration to Eric for a cool landing on that. Oh, but I like, thought for you, sure. I thought you liked my pale thighs reference. No, I did. I did. But I can't give you any more special treatment. Listen, not not like. Yeah, you can. You can. Here for that. <laughs> <I'm just Uh. laughs> okay, y'all. There are two statues left. The Hawk Man. That is a uh, sort of kicking the ground uh through uh the sea ward which is like where all the fanciest people live this thing has like come up and around and is actually approaching where you all eventually like where you all started and is like over probably a block or two away from uh where rose is busily trying to make some cream cheese muffins i'm not saying she's in danger i'm just saying that's where it's headed and then the honorable knight which is in the trades ward that has this like massive sword and it's kind of using it like a, like a cane and walking around. You're all scattered throughout Waterdeep. How do you want to try to get over there? Um, fly over there. I was going to ask, can I fly? Wow. Does my big guy fly? Can he fly? Oh, the Sawagin. Yeah, the Sawagin. Since I actually... made, since Juliet can fly, can I make this guy fly? Can I do some like ruin magic or whatever on him and I like mean, get him to fly? Uh, he did, let's, let's just say with, he did two hops. And you're now dealing like with friend, the hawk big man. Big friendly giant style, you know, where he's moving so fast, he's just jumping continents. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so uh, I actually really like this, because that would put Eoge and Trislin near uh, the hawk man. And uh, Dirty Hank and Addy, you're next to the Honorable Knight over on that side of town. Teamwork, what do you do? Let's roll to see who goes first. All right, Addy and Dirty Hank, what do you do? Eric, can we ATAT -AT this guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, Hank flies He's over. He's already a poor walker. You know <laughs> that. <laughs> Hank, so we're AT ATs. <laughs> Hank's basically gonna fly over to where Addy is and be like, like, trip him? No, what's our code word for trip him? Is oh, yeah. We need to. Like what do we call what what when we've done this in the past? Right. Uh, let's let's give him the old slipple dipple. <laughs> By the way, Dirty Hank, uh, can you make an insight check for me on Annie? Sure. Am I okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Insight. Don't uh, forget the D twelve. Oh yes, that's I forgot to. I would, Am I okay? Uh, insight on. Mm -hmm the captain uh can that he perceive is... i've made a new friend eight. <laughs> <what's happening. laughs> all of that you got an eight ridiculous <laughs> i'm still gonna give it to you it looked like you are getting an, a vibe off of addy like she just touched a very large nipple like you can feel that on i her. touched a what a nipple you did you touched you grabbed the you i grabbed... would never do no they hang you hung by it. that huge nipple are you kidding I... me I it's really never cold. Do nip, that. yep. All right, nip, go yep. ahead. If you guys want yep, to do a trip, yep, trip yep. attack, yeah. What are you using uh, to do a trip? Because I don't think you can just stick a leg out. Slipple dipple. You know, when we've done the slipple dipple in the plat, and then the past, we've used. Have you tripped other giant fucking statues before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dipple? no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Give me uh, a word picture. I mean, personally. In my adventures bag, uh -huh. I have fucking feet and feet and feet of rope. Cool. You're gonna have to tie both 
both you yeah. and Hank's ropes together to have enough feet yeah. and feet of rope. Yeah. To successfully pull off the slip dip. Yeah. Rope. All right. Yes. Go ahead. I'm going to make you, I'm going to have you make an attack roll for me. Uh, both of you can roll it separately. You just is, need to get to 25. Is this an unarmed strike? What would that be? Uh, I'm going to say you are both proficient with rope. Uh, let's make it strength. So plus your like D20 plus proficiency plus strength. Okay. So don't forget uh, about your D12. I mean, I attack with strength. So, well, go ahead. Can I use a reroll? Do we have any rerolls left? Only one of you has to be successful for what we do have some rerolls left if you want to use it. Yeah. We still have a few. Uh, uh, what is is that? 32? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. 17 plus 15. Let's What'd go you with get, that. Addy? What'd you get? I don't want to talk about it. I yeah, want to you know. You, no, you said if one of us got it. No, I'm going to change my answer. Now you both have to beat 25 because you're holding both sides of the rope. Wow, Talks. wow, 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 wow. Okay, then I, I want to use a reroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and do yeah. it. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm doing it. Fuck, you do it then. I'm going to do it then. That was marginally better. Um, I have a zero modifier to strength, so it's going to stick with that seven. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's roll it's a fine. 12. Dirty Hank helps. You are, you I, I rolled a 12. It. I rolled a 12, so we're, okay. sitting, well, at a, we're sitting at a what? A what 19? happens is you went to go trip him. Uh, Hank holds the line. You get kicked like half a block up. Hey, I got a 19. I got a 19 at yep, the end of you the get day. Hit, you get kicked like half a block up, and then you reset the line, and you just tie yours to a building, and then Hank can hold his side. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you trip his ass, uh, and he goes like, crashing forward uh for him his spike is actually through his mouth from like one side of the jaw through the oh. other you when got a like joker a cool beard situation yeah i guess yeah like a joker and he trips and falls down and destroys like half a block of just tree Love buildings it. it's yeah. fine but now his head's on the ground and that spike is right there so how do you guys want to like finish destroying the spike uh uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call to Hank over the over the collapse corpse uh, corp not corpse statue. Mm -hmm. Hit hit the high note, Hank. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> you didn't know this about Hank, but <laughs> accomplished <laughs> as as a patron of bars, he is also very versed He's basically in bar like songs. <laughs> I'm not saying that Dirty Hank is Pavarotti reincarnated. But he totally is, and I am very into that. You see 25 performance check, please, and you can shatter this with the power of your fucking voice. Cool, cool. I'll give right. you inspiration because you're working together with Addy, or not inspiration, uh, advantage, because you're working with Addy and she is uh, assisting you. Okay. With let's, vocal warm-ups. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> Please be better on the second. Oh, Don't those forget are... about your D12. Yeah, um, I'm going to need a reroll on this. How many do we have left, Terry? We still have three. Addy, okay. you still have a second uh, natural 20 oh. coin in your pocket. Oh, yeah, coins, coins. Oh, I do? I thought yeah. I started you off with one, and then I gave you the second one. Oh, you're so nice. I said that out loud. I know. I thought you were memeing. I've never memed in my life. That's not true. Never have, never will. Never will. All right, let's see if this, okay. 18 minus one, 17. <laughs> okay. He's not going to do it unless you bring this coin out. I'm not warmed up. I can't be doing on that. I believe in you, Hank. You've got this. This okay. is me. Ooh. <laughs> this is the nipple energy I was talking about right there. <laughs> okay, Hank, as she hands you uh, this like bizarre coin, please roll a d20 for me. Okay. Aim high. Uh, that is a 14. Yeah, okay. Uh, with a 14 uh, neutral effect, once oh, again. I, yeah, I kick, I kick Hank in the nards. That'll help, right? Then that's how you hit a high note. 
<laughs> so you begin to have another like reverie, like deja vu moment. And then you just get a swift kick to the bits and you hit that high note. I, what does I, it look like as you sing hard enough to shatter Chardolin? He he's like starts off singing like, you know, tavern songs. Like he would, you know, chant along. It just doesn't sound like it sounds fine. Uh, but uh, as he like gets like the deja vu, he remembers uh, being forced to sing as a child in High Dwarven. So then he begins singing in High Dwarven, which sounds melodic already. So like him attempting it in 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 the way his voice wants to actually be melodic is what is able to to achieve like this high like weird sort of it kind of sounds like like that Mongolian throat singing. Ooh, Ooh. fuck yeah. Dope. All right, and the Chardolin shatters and he he stays where he fell and is just sort of scattered across this trade street. Nicely done. And we cut across the town towards the sea ward where uh, both Eoj uh, and Trislin stand uh, confronting the Hawkman, the last of the eight walking statues. What do you want to do? Tristan, you see uh, another statue just bounding over. I'm going to mind link and be like, it's okay. I'm on this statue. I'm riding it and we're almost there. How you doing? You okay? Uh, fine. Pick me up. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hey, son. Can you grab my friend right there? Is my name son? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, okay. my c- microphone went crazy. Hi. No, you're good. It's fine. What do you need, Papa? Yeah, I got. We got to pick up my friend right there. Oh, uh, the purple one. Yeah, with the cool things. Okay. And uh, this massive Sawagan like webbed hand leans down and offers you a lift, Trislin. Right back. I have to change headphones. Sorry. I just want to make sure. Uh, is Jam Jams able yeah, to come Jam with Jams me? Is, Jam Jams can fly. Jam okay, Jams cool. is just vibing with you. Like I just gotta, I gotta make sure. I'm not yeah, going anywhere yeah. without making sure Jam Jams is okay. Heck yes. Uh, all right. Well, I'm climbing into the palm of that statue hand and uh, bracing myself. Nice. Yes. All right. You face off. Uh, you get lifted up, and in two large bounds, you are standing right in front of the hawk. The hawk man, a massive winged statue. What do you want to do? Can I? Oh, have... Sorry, last note. I uh, forgot to say. Uh, the spike is actually through its wing, like a big outstretched wing, and you see it like right at the bend in the wing. <laughs> oh, okay. How close are we to that? Like, is the statue that I'm on, I assume it's like carrying me, like holding me in its little hand. Mm-hmm. Can it get me pretty close? Yeah. Okay. It can get you on the wing if you want. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I, I would like to, like, uh, not do a ranged attack, but actually, you know, use my rapier if possible. Okay, yeah. Um, you can ask it to move you. Okay. Uh, I'm realizing Tristlin would have no idea what its name is, so she's just going to lightly kind of, like, tap it on the uh i imagine it's holding her like this and she's kind of going like this and she's like excuse me and it like Um, suddenly like like jerks you not angrily but just quickly like towards its face and you hear it's uh you hear its voice in your head because its mouth doesn't move and he goes yes okay a little slower are you also uh, my papa Uh uh-huh yeah um do you think you could get me close to that spike thing it wants to hurt your papa Throw or carry? Gently carry. Hmm. Sure. (laughs) He sounds super disappointed and like kind of walks over and the hawk like kind of is swinging at it and it has to like jump around uh, and is able to deposit you on the wing. Eos, do you want to also get off on the hawk man? Hmm? Yes. 
<laughs> okay. So you guys are both on the crook of its wing. I said more than that, obviously, but I, I, I was muted apparently. <laughs> and I... No worries. You both are on like the crook of its wing and uh, the so, like son, I guess is his name. Son is now like grappling with the hawk to like kind of keep it in place so you can do whatever you want to do. This one is a little more bendy. Like the other wing is kind of knocking buildings around and causing havoc. So it's trying to keep this one still for you. All right. I'm going to go for a rapier attack the same way I did on the last statue, since I already yeah. know that works. Okay. Yoj, what do you want to do? I'm going to mind link with my big statue baby mm -hmm. and see Tristan, if you can go ahead help. and roll your attack. And see, see if you can help us grab... Uh, the Charlotte. He's busy locked up. He's locked up with uh, the okay. statue. So if you don't want to have to roll like to keep your footing on this. Oh man. Okay. Uh, Too many things. Okay. That's Go a for 29 it, to hit. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely okay. hits. Okay. Eos, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to try to get my um, trident to like blast that. Perfect. I I just want to make sure I don't add the, I only add the uh, rolling a D12 if I'm also rolling a D20, but not Correct. for other rolls, right? Correct. Okay, cool. So not for my damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. my damage is 14. Nice. You're able to like chisel it away the way you were chiseling down the lady dreaming. And can I roll for uh, Jam Jams as well? Oh, is Jam Jams also going to attack? Hell Yeah. yeah. Fighting claw, maybe he just like gets the in there end. and starts pecking at it and scratching at it. Okay, he's gonna do his bite and claw multi attack. Fuck yeah, yeah he does. Um, does Jam Jams also get that? <laughs> he does claw? not. No. Okay. Well, I had he to was, ask. It's yeah, you had to time. ask. It's no. just because this was like a he wasn't there that day. Sure. Yeah, he's never sure. met Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. You know, they yeah, don't have you a know. relationship. I mean, that you know of. <laughs> uh, okay. That Jam is... Jams lived a whole life before you all. <laughs> That's a. 16 and an 18 to hit from Jam Jams. Okay, neither of those hit, but he's just in there helping out. He, and just... he thinks he's helping, right? Yeah. Like, okay. he thinks he's doing attacks, but it's mostly like he's knocking away debris that you've already cleared with your rapier. But oh, he's bless. doing his best. He's That's just... cute. Hashtag bless, jampers. Okay, what are my Abyssal attacks? blessings. Yes. Oh, yes. Hi. Um, does a 22... 25 is the number you're looking for. Okay, no, then I have one of those out of my four off Perfect. attacks options. That's okay. If you can do 11 um, points of damage, you can clear the Okay, so we clear the spike. Roll to 32. Let's roll some damage. Thirteen. 13. There you go. So between your combined effort, uh, you digging in with a trident, you digging in with a rapier, you're able to like, essentially like clear it, like kind of like, it's kind of like you're like wedging out a splinter from the wing and uh, the Hawkman statue let, lets out this massive screech as it sort of clears. Both of you, DC 25 Arcana check. If either of you makes it, you can decide where the statue is going to end up. If neither of you makes it, it's gonna stop right here in the middle of the sea ward. And wouldn't that just be pretty funny for all the rich people who have to look at this giant stupid hawk? Okay. Yeah, I, I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> what? I rolled a four. Okay, uh, that will not do it. Uh, How about you, Trislin? I rolled a 19. Mm -hmm. but I haven't used my inspiration, so I'm going to just roll one more if that's okay. There you go. Oh, I rolled two 19s, so that's super helpful. <laughs> so consistent. Of all the times when two 19s would have been helpful, this was not one of them. <laughs> it's okay. okay. This statue, like, with its giant wings outspread, looking like it's sort of yelling down at, like, this basically like, rich people neighborhood uh, that is the Sea Ward. It, both of you were like, I mean, I guess I could have tried harder to move it, but like, oopsie, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> and you just hop off the statue as it just is just this horrible eyesore in the sea ward. I don't have time to make another kid. Like I just, I already got this one son. So. Nice. 
Harry, you have two sons. I'm just. You have two sons. Gail is your stepson. Sorry. I don't, I, I'm sorry. Also, you it's... animated a little clockwork thing uh, in the plane of fire. You did do that. Oh you my God. did, but I, did I call it my kid? Oh, yes, you father. absolutely did. did I call, I'm not the worst dad. <laughs> Juliet wanted a brother that was like her. I get it. I tried. <laughs> oh After my God. About an hour, you're able to make She's not going to hang out with your kid. <laughs> Maybe they, they'd probably fucking get along. Peter they probably do. Play. Peter could play music for her. It's better than the other influences influences in her life. That guy who just steals people's books. Who was that guy? <laughs> Amazing. Fucking asshole. And we're just gonna wipe to uh, all of you re sort of like circling back up at that very nice rich person's house that's been abandoned. Uh, all of you see that like the hawk statue is basically screeching directly at it probably like 50 feet up and away. And it's just like, you look out every window and it's just into the window. It's super good. And you're all just eating muffins. She wasn't able to find cream cheese, uh, but she found like a like a weird vegan substitute. It's not as good, but it's just, she she, she, she tried her best. Justice it's for the vegan weird. cheese. No, hey, the rest nothing of Nothing tastes better than knowing no animal cruelty occurred, Abria. Just... Uh, I'm not saying that the fact that it's vegan was bad. It's that it takes practice to handle like egg substitutes. You can fuck up flax real hard. <laughs> and it, it's not yeah. a good, it's a little gummy, but she to tried her best. Abria's credit. Abria makes some very Please stop good complimenting me. Butter. I swear to God. The statue falls over and you all fucking die. Yeah, I but, cannot take another compliment. I will, I mean, I will literally shit the, myself. The butter, I, I have not tried, but if you've tried the spicy uh, papyrus uh, oh sorbet. Not papyrus, or that's whatever. a font. <laughs> Hold on, you now I want it to be a font. SNL, one of my favorites of all time is the papyrus <laughs> sketch. I love when a brand makes a spicy font. <laughs> I do. It's the avatar font. That's, they didn't even it change the it. Avatar. I remember the SNL sketch too. So yeah, you guys are eating like gummy, gummy brown or gummy muffins that she did her best on. Uh, she she will practice more. And all of you, I insist again, that you just add some raisins and it'll be perfect. <laughs> I don't think the raisins are the problem. It's the it's the, it's not a great crumb, and I have to figure out a better like a, texture next time. The problem with the moisture, it's like you know because the moisture you balance is wrong. Yeah, balance the moisture because it doesn't it doesn't exude the same moisture Addie levels. Pulls Addie pulls out one of her blender by and sort of points it at everyone is like, they're fucking delicious. I mean, I've ate seven of them <laughs> Make an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> oh, I have a plus 11 to intimidation. Hell yeah. I was going to say you could also make a deception check. <laughs> the first Either one's one. somehow a 19. Whoops. And the second one's a 13. How did this happen? I have a plus 11. <laughs> Don't forget. Do we have any rerolls? Oh, do you also have a plus 12. We do I have still have the plus 12. 12. You know what? Fuck it. I will give you one of my rerolls. You can have my rerolls. No, no, no. no I got two. Oh, no, no I, I rolled a 12. I rolled a 12. I rolled a 12. So 19 plus 12 is it some sort of number. 31. Yeah, she... This looks like a mortal threat. She will fucking cap you. You better like... My daughter's fucking vegan muffins? I'm gonna rip your bowels out and wrap them around your neck and throw you in the fucking river. That's exactly why I fell in love with you. Always and forever. <laughs> and Honestly, on that note, I ain't, oh, go ahead. Nope, go I ahead. ain't been threatened like that since, well, uh, when did we go on that vacation, Trislin? <laughs> <laughs> Trislin's just wordlessly <laughs> going to put a muffin in Hank's mouth and just pat him on the back. <laughs> and Addie, I'm sorry about earlier. We should go to Gil's next show. His name is Peter. <laughs> <laughs> His name, name is, is the big His name guy, is Gil. Peter. <laughs> Tristan also puts a muffin into Eosha's mouth and pats him on the back. <laughs> oh god it is probably the right call oh man and on that note you all sort of like fade the night fades 
you are level 20 adventurers, saviors of the city, saviors of this plane of existence. I would love to go around and just get like a quick, I know we do this every now and then, but this is, this is it. I want the final epilogue for each of your characters. How do they spend the rest of their lives? What do they do? What are they like? And I'm going to start with Addie because uh, Vanna is the most uh, animated right now. <laughs> it's because I'm the only one standing. Anime! <laughs> <Damn it, Terry. laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think like after this scenario, like at this point, <laughs> I guess in half elf terms, she's not very old. But I think in like adventurer years, she's she's old or she's been through it all and she's sort of, she's over it. And she's now at this point and fully embraced like, like I'm, I'm done doing this and I'm, I'm really focusing on my family and uh, the success of my children and teaching my husband what my son's name is and um <laughs> and just like you know getting involved in local politics and <laughs> you know like using her verbosity I don't even know if that's a word but uh to to make changes on a local level rather than sort of like this global but self-centered level and uh, and yeah, she her favorite things are attending a, her son's concert, or um, like having a glass of glass of wine. She drinks now because she's cool. Um, <laughs> she was always cool <laughs> with her daughter, or uh, like when when her other daughter comes to port, you know, like trying her best to uh, make up for lost time and and uh trying to um listen to eos not just listen but like hear him Aww. you know nice yeah what about you eos you're you're muted mm -hmm. you're muted i got it i was just fixing my i had some issues tonight um you're good uh I am spending just time, you know, with my family, um, getting to know everybody and making sure I know everybody's name. Um, and, you know, just making sure that um, they all feel loved and protected and know that I'm there for them no matter what. And if they need help and baking advice, I'm here, you know? Um, if you wanna go vegan, I can help you with that. If you wanna like add other stuff to it, I can help you with that. No matter what the options, they're kind of endless. So really, I'm going to spend my days with my kids, with my grandkids, hopefully, because I would like a lot of them too. Just and, a little bunch of little statues. Right? Just, I love it. All the little statues hanging out. It's like they are, they're like find a fountain and they make a show. Um, it's like the water. Have you not gone to the Caesar's Palace? <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Abria was with me. It's all right, I'm young super folks. With you. That's there great. was a show that was amazing in a fountain at the Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. It was really cool. Um, my last name isn't Gamble for any reason. Um, anyway, that's it. I, I, it's just, I imagine their lives very happy and lots of love, lots of stupid fights, but also like, that's the best part of it. Oh, dirty Hank. Uh, I think being this connected to, uh, I guess, the the energies of the world and stuff like that. Uh, he he becomes less and less attached to the things around him. Like he was already kind of like outside the city. And I think he kind of just um, lets go of most of that. And he just kind of wanders around. Like he'll just just walk away for a while. Uh, sometimes he'll come back, if, but it, it, like he'll disappear for years. Sometimes he'll just go up in the mountains and just sit there for a while. Uh, I think the only person who could find him, obviously, is Trislin whenever she she needs to find him. Uh, but yeah, I think he just kind of like is just alone. I've, every once in a while, somebody seeks him out to like for his tutelage and stuff like that. And he'll if they can find him, he'll offer whatever wisdom he can. But he just kind of like exists out in the world until he eventually just fades from it. 
except the trust fund that I started with his money and his name lives on. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Bring us home, Trislin. Uh, Trislin teaches a new ring of tots, the next generation of tots, but uh, what she trains them to do instead of pickpocketing and being petty thieves is she teaches them to be sort of reverse Indiana Jones of sorts, where they steal back artifacts that have been, like, taken uh, and stripped away from their original cultures and heritage, and she teaches them how to, like, return them to their uh, homelands and how to, like, use stealthing abilities to right wrongs, essentially, instead of for personal gain. Decolonize uh, those museums. Yeah, Holy exactly. Shit. <laughs> so she she continues to, like, hone the skills that she's always had, but she teaches the next generation to use them for uh, a different purpose. And uh, in her spare time, cross stitches, eat the rich onto uh, little needle points for them. <laughs> Yes. And uh, basically keeps the same home that she and Hank had together and uh, looks over all of the animals and just uh, like once a week will will cook something that she thinks Hank will enjoy and kind of like leaves it out on a windowsill in case that's the week that he's coming back through the area or whatever. Uh, and just kind of takes care of her, her animals and her, uh, her tots. My heart. <laughs> That's so good. And with that, a bunch of rascals become adventurers, become heroes, and become happy, content, which is the best of all possible things. And as the sun sort of sets on this group of adventurers, uh, it raises, it rises on uh, Rose going down to a dungeon at the bottom of the Blackstaff Tower in Oubliette, where that Vidalcan wizard, Nibus, uh, having been non-lethally taken care of by Dirty Hank, is now captured. And uh, she begins what looks like the 100,000th interrogation, trying to get him to open up more. And he keeps repeating the same thing, never new information. But he always says, I'm from the future. I know what you are capable of. And my syndicate will not allow those changes to come. Rose, you will save the world and I am here to stop it. If not me, then another. And we will keep coming in waves and waves until our dark Lord's purpose is fulfilled. And he begins to cackle madly as a whole new set of adventures begins with a whole new generation. And the story of Rose and all of her cool like growth and all the adventures that she has a whole lifetime waiting for her will come someday. But that's someone else's story. This one is done now and we're done. That's it. Thank you so much for being with us for an amazing year and some change telling wonderful stories. And we're going to keep telling stories, all of us separately and together. But this one's done and we did it. And I couldn't be more pleased to have told this story with all of you. So thank you for that. We have one more toast from DJ Regular. So please raise your glasses, my beautiful salt bays, one more time. As he says, to honor the various booty related song puns that I've toasted with over the seasons of this show, I'll be transcribing the lyrics of E.U.'s the butt into the stream doc in their entirety. And it looks like Dom has locked me out. Oh, well, love you all. <laughs> Booty! Booty. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's one incoming Classic. from D. Beachy who says, thank you so much for making Tuesday nights so much fun. I'm not ready to say goodbye to the bays. I love you all. Booty! Booty. Exactly enough. All right, that's it, my beautiful base. So let's do one more round for tonight of uh, where everyone can be found and then we'll talk about what comes next.
Let's start with, we'll go reverse order. Negs. That's mean. Why would you send it to me first? Because I, I love you. Hi, I'm Nega Oryx. Uh, I've been playing Trislin for four seasons and some change. Uh, I'm going to go ugly cry after this. And you, you don't want to watch me do that. But you might want to watch me do other things on the internet. Uh, you can come find me at twitch.tv slash Nega Oryx or just on uh, social media so you can stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I have so much stuff to promote and I can't think of any of it because my head is still in this story. So just uh, come say hi sometime and thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm going to get too sad, so I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Eric. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, thank you everyone for, for, uh, letting me play Dirty Hank, the, the comic relief that turned into way more, which is weird. Uh, uh, yeah, you can always just follow me. I'm mostly Eric on all the things, including Twitch, where I play video games on the weekdays and, and whatnot. Terry? Hi! Hi guys, I'm Terry. Um, I played EO Dreamerts for the last little time. It was so much fun. Thank you so much. Um, you can find me on the internet at the Terry Gamble. Um, I do a lot of fun things. Uh, I'm in a medical drama with Ripley Improv, improvised medical drama like Grey's Anatomy, but all improvised and brand new every Friday um, through mid November. Um, and Mondays, you can find me at Horror Movie Survival Guide talking about scary movies. On Thursdays, every other Thursday, I have new episodes drop from my uh, improv comedy group. We do sketch comedy, a diversity higher, as in getting higher up, comedy. Um, you can follow us on the internets as well. That'd be super awesome. Um, I'm a little sad too. This is like a little bittersweet. I'm gonna go in a puddle. I'm in a little moving right now. My house is literally in boxes, but this is the last thing I'm doing before I pack up the studio to move this next week. So um, this is a lot of goodbyes and a very, at the same time. So it's a little bittersweet moment. Um, this was really nice to take a little break uh, from packing up boxes and to do this show and, and see you guys. So much has changed. <laughs> Literally the world has changed since we started doing this show. So thank you guys so much for giving us something to do that kind of helped us keep it together <laughs> during this mayhem. Oh, I really appreciate it. I know you guys out there watching and just having this crew to come check in with every week has been really really nice thank you guys and thank you for teaching me dnd i really appreciate it i'm gonna try to do better next time you are already a master of dnd i just made you roll 400,000 dice tonight and that's that's on me because i didn't give you an item where you could just click the button it's so it's fine it's you're fine golden. it's fine uh, uh, havana terry literally offensive that you started <laughs> crying <laughs> literally wrong and bad <laughs> and against god <laughs> how dare you um so i just kind of had this uh realization but i think um like sa saving throw show was the first thing that made me feel at home in los angeles when i moved there a handful of years ago it was the first like job I had and it was like the first my first opportunity to meet new people and it, it really uh, solidified like making LA feel like home and uh, I got to meet you know most of you through it or or deepen our friendships through being a part of it um and, uh, and now I'm in a new state, starting a new life and we're sort of wrapping up this part. And, it, and it's, I guess it's a weird feeling cause it's like it's ending, but it's, it's just making me feel so connected to all of you and so connected to the um, Saving Throw Show family. And, and even though we're physically far apart now, we can still come together and tell stories and laugh and <laughs> and it just it just means the world to me and it, it has since day one <laughs> and it and every day since and today is no exception so I love y'all so much 
thank you for this story. Thank you for this journey. Um, I appreciate all of your characters and all of your time and all of your energy and Abria literally fuck you because just like the best GM ever and and I remember like Dom talking to Dom and being like uh, he was like yeah Abria's Abria's gonna GM and I think I had seen Abria do one thing at that point and I was just like yes I'm so in and then it just like I just don't think we had any idea <laughs> what we were in store for and it and I just and it's just all blossomed and bloomed and uh and grown and uh and I think I I'm just so grateful for the um experience and for the just like most incredible uh surprise that that this entire journey was and and helmed by helmed by Bria who's just fuck you know fuck her um you know what i mean <laughs> yeah so, like where does she get off where does like, she get I off will, i will pull this campaign over right now stop it where, where does she get off being uh, so brilliant and so considered of all of our stories and just weaving stories so effort well seemingly so effortlessly i i have maybe an in some sort of insight that she it's maybe not so effortless but the way she has carried it the entire time has just felt like a dream. Um, and the way everyone at this table has engaged with it has felt like a fucking dream. So I'm just grateful for all of y'all. I'm grateful for Saving Throw from day one. I'm grateful for it today. And I'm grateful for it for the future because I know this is not the end of us. And um, boy. Boy, I'm just, uh, I'm just grateful. I'm just so grateful. So thank you. And thank you, chat. God, the support through all of those seasons is really astounding. And God, that's wild, right? Like people come every week to see us tell this silly, crazy, emotional, unpredictable story. Like y'all are incredible. Like that's that's a commitment I don't I don't watch actual plays like <laughs> I don't do that shit you know and so to me that's just like another level that y'all commit to us in this channel saving their show and our characters and us as creators and it's just so above and beyond and I hope you know that we recognize that and we appreciate it and respect it. I'm sorry, I'm still talking. I'm so sorry. Stop apologizing. Uh, let me let me tell you about the Obamas, though. Okay, can you just <laughs> <laughs> you leave Barack and Michelle out of this? I can't. I can't. Not anymore. Iconic. I finally listened to their podcast like a couple weeks ago. Her podcast, that first episode, Ooh, nice. where she just interviews him, and I'm just like, ugh. What? I Don't was like, that. I was like, black love. <laughs> I got so I was just like, I was crying listening to it. No, it's fine. Terry gets it. Terry gets it. <laughs> Big time. Uh, Bria, tell us about how wonderful you are, please. I will not do that. I will deflect all praise and say, but well, we need to know where to find you. Where can we find you? <laughs> My name is Abria Iyengar. You can find me on social media at Quiddy Q U I D D I E. And I stream all over the place now because of this game. I want you guys to know that like having you in my orbit and being able to tell the story with you for the last year has motivated and inspired me to want to tell more stories. And I will go to my grave, like loving and appreciating this, this specific story. We're not done telling stories as a group yet, but there will always be something special about this one and the legacy that will live on from all of the like all the like little things that have happened uh in this game and in this story and in this campaign that will like live on in other stories that all of us tell and uh i will always be grateful for it and i'm not sad that this one's over because i think we did it i think we told an amazing tale of a bunch of people who rose to the challenge of becoming the best versions of themselves and i'm just so excited to tell more stories with all of you I've said it before and I'll say it again. I will I will be here with you in whatever capacity to tell a thousand thousand stories for as long as I can. And I know that nothing is forever, but like I will treasure it while I have it. And you guys are all 
my treasures and I love you very, very much. And I love all of you out there for supporting us and sharing us and uh, spreading word of mouth and bringing people to the table. And I hope that you all can continue like telling stories in this world too. And if you like, if you pick up where we left off with Rose, like drop me a line on socials and tell me like what shenanigans she's getting up to. If one of these amazing characters makes a cameo in your campaign, let us know, hit us up on socials. Let us know how like the legacy of the story that we told here on Tuesday nights for the last year and a half like lives on. And to me, that's like the coolest thing in the whole wide world. Um, you can just follow me on Twitter to see uh, other campaigns that I'm in. It's a lot and I don't super feel like uh, listing them all right now. No shade to them, but this is now is for this. So thank you all very, very much. Um, we will try to figure out when we can do a chat back, but uh, I want you all to know that like this, this segment, this time is Salt Bay time and will be for a while. So we're gonna like rotate. I'm gonna take a little break from the GM seat for a while. Uh, everyone can step in as they want to tell like mini campaigns and then I'll be sliding back in in a couple months to start whatever we do next. And I don't know what it is yet, but as long as I've got you guys, I know it's gonna be amazing. So thank you all for your support. Uh, Vanna, get it fucking together or I'm I can't. fly out there. So help I, me. I live in a, in a <laughs> hardware store. <laughs> Illustration hardware is not a hardware store. It's I don't like the know. most I'm not beautiful. To go in there. Like I said, you don't have to be rich to go inside. They don't know. Do yeah, I they need don't to know. Show you this shit, Do I need to show you for you? Honestly, they'll be like, oh, she's like shabby chic, which is kind of what they do. It is kind of what they do. You've got like Literally a little the rich, rich white lady thing. I'm just going to become nice. a nice faucet. That's what, that's what everyone wants. <laughs> A uh, special shout out. Thank you, Eric, so much for being a producer. And thank you, Dom, for handling all of this and and allowing us the avenue to tell the story. Uh, Y'all are some real ones. And we'll see you again soon. Good night. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Sweet. We did it, babies. You all we did it. Gosh, you did it. Oh, so Whoosh. Yeah, over. I know. God, right? It's finally over. I hated every minute of it. You know, trash people. Uh, I could never see any of them. Dom, Dom, you told me I didn't have to. I didn't have to see them. Any oh God, I don't have to interact with the talent anymore. It's